What's up my single chats and toxic gamers? How are we all doing my brothers? Today we got news about the next Battlefield game, GTA 6, PS5 Pro, the PlayStation 6. There are a ton of videos that we're gonna check out and if we got time later on we're also gonna be checking out some UFO videos as well, okay? Uh, some cheater videos as well. Guys, whatever you do, don't chase the pom pom. I will include timestamps for every video that I show you and all the news uh, topics that we talk about. I got you, okay? I will include timestamps for everything. I did not see this coming okay after the franchise's major restructuring following battlefield 2042's release marcus leto one of the new game director has left ridgeline games yay and i'm not sure for how long you guys have been following the channel but if you have seen some of my new battlefield game videos right where we talk about the next battlefield game and all that you must have heard me say that guys we, we got marcus leto one of the most passionate person in the community uh, and he's gonna you know make call of duty or i should say battlefield great again today he went extra passionate you know Bruh. he got extra passionate and he quit man this <laughs> This is insane, man. And everybody's like doom posting right now. This is my uh, my Twitter, guys. If you got Twitter, follow me there. Let me show you some kishi. Everybody's doom posting right now. How does this impact the franchise? Wow, wasn't he supposed to be the savior? He peaced out. I wish they would reboot Medal of Honor. They killed Medal of Honor. You guys already know that. The end of PS5. After sales of the PlayStation 5 failed to meet expectations over the holidays, what? Sony has said the console is entering the latter stage of its life cycle. Oh, no. Yeah, it's about PS6 and PS5 Pro, right? Uh, Blue Point's remake is virtually one-to-one -one from a gameplay perspective, but... It's a remake. Like I said, it's a From Software game oh, from 2009 no. from the PlayStation 3. Fundamentally... How many remakes we got in the last, uh, last, uh, five months? Demon Souls or for last year or last five years scratch the five months part yeah. last five years ps5 is what it always has been barring some small tweaks the design of the game is identical to from software's original the core mechanics are unchanged the enemies yeah. are placed in the same positions and behave in the same ways i don't like the demon souls remake yeah <laughs> i think that it's inferior to the original <laughs> in every way other than graphics okay how many of you guys actually bought demon souls and yeah right now there are rumors and leaks going around that we're gonna be getting the ps5 pro and i'm saying <laughs> that we're gonna be playstation 6 is already leaked where are the games where are the games my guy we're getting remix after remix naughty dog has been remaking everything yo bobby davis what's good bobby how you doing bobby i think the atmosphere is worse I think the art direction is much diminished. I think many of the changes to the music and to the enemy design misunderstand yeah. their purpose in the original. The PS5 <laughs> is trash. The design of the PS5 is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. Sometimes. Does, does any any of you care about the design though? Like, I, I know it looks like a like a device. I, I remember when the, the, the dev kits were being sent out, suckers were like, yo, is that a technology straight from Area 51? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, damn. Like, to be honest though, my PS5 is just collecting dust right now, you know? I'm just waiting for the games. Like, personally, I just care about the games rather than the design. Spider-Man Miles Morales can feel too similar to Harvey, what's come what's before. Good? The core gameplay loop is pretty much the same. Spider-Man Miles Morales' New York is largely the same as the one in 2018 Spider-Man. The new Spider-Man game isn't really all that new. It uses the same city map, just this time there's a coating of snow, some holiday decorations, yeah. it adds a little seasonal flavor. <laughs> the game does look better on PS5, but it isn't a drastic difference. The uh, Miles controls pretty much exactly like Peter did in 2018 Spider-Man, yeah. so despite being a new Spider-Man, Miles doesn't- Your overall expectations with Spider-Man 2, right? Like, uh, were your expectations expectations met with spider-man 2 you harvey what's good i do <laughs> man okay spider-man 2 like i love the game right but you know what i was uh, i was traveling i was in my hometown i was in my retirement home in pakistan right so i couldn't bring my ps5 there so you know what i didn't get the chance to play what did i do instead of waiting i watched it on youtube Bruh. And I loved it. Listen, man, I loved watching that thing on YouTube. And I gotta be real, man. When the Venom, uh, Venom uh, guy kicks in, though, the entire city changes, though. So I thought that was beautiful. Doesn't actually play like a new Spider-Man. It's being called the biggest fucking waste of your hard-earned money to come along in years. Oh Sony's new stupid box thing. While it's being released for the PlayStation 5, Guerrilla Games says they did most of their development on the PlayStation 4's hardware. So if you haven't been able to snag a PS5 just yet, don't worry. Yeah, Guerrilla Games worry. says the PS4 version will not be a compromised way to enjoy your- If you actually- Because this thing was- this junk was actually scalped to death. It stayed in scalper's basement 
for months and months. Where are you? Okay, one in the comments if you were able to get the PS5 day one. Two in the chat if you tried hard. Tried hard to get this. I'm good. How are you doing today? Did you watch Call of Shame video yesterday? Yeah, Bobby, I got a video on that later on tonight. I got you, brother. Be better than I thought. Got you. I just love the games, man. I Your see journey you, through the Forbidden West. This game is indeed still cross-generation, like many other big Sony releases this year. But unlike the likes of, say, Horizon the Forbidden West, the differences here are a little more on the subtle side. Sony has oh, no new oh. games and major franchises coming this year. We do not plan to release any new major existing franchise titles next fiscal year. It's a game. We in a gaming depression right now. Oh my god. Like, not The Last of Us, bro. Not The Last of Us, dog. <laughs> Man, these suckers be remastering the same joint every single time. <laughs> every single time. You don't own Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2, honestly, minus the wool crap, it was actually very, very good, though. Uh, God of War Ragnarok, loved that game. But I prefer God of War 2018 over Ragnarok, personally, because I feel like that the story was a lot more quick, and it, it was a, a lot more impactful. And I believe the reason being is it was because it was such a massive jump between God of War, let's just say, 3 and God of War Ascension to, like, God of War uh, 2018, right? Because it was the first, uh, let's just say, PlayStation 4, like, a real next-gen game. But Ragnarok, amazing. I got nothing bad to say, but I guess the complaints that I'm seeing right now are related to, hey, man, like every game looks kind of like that it can be on the ps4 uh the major complaints are essentially that you know we don't have like a real next gen game you guys feel that way i feel like gta 6 is truly gonna be the next next gen game but we'll see so nice they built it thrice there one, one, is two, two. something inherently inessential about it that it can't quite shake as a you remake of an already fabulous remaster now there's an argument to be made that the last of us part one is too similar to the ps3 and ps4 version to be considered a remake uh, that's the homie jake baldino though come on jake come on man you're straight chilling on twitch that's a like gaming depression since black ops 3 yo to be honest though if black ops 3 zombies was that second that i know life every single day my guy every single day bro after school i would come i would run uh, uh you know i would come home from school i would run my way on on the way you know if that makes sense Bruh. probably doesn't make sense but you know what i mean right guys it's all about the feeling okay it's about it's all about the feeling man black ops 3 zombies it was amazing man and right now those things are those things killed black ops uh and the entirety of the zombies lore in call of duty based just because of warzone we really don't have any next gen games true amen and part of me agrees with that sentiment. The story is identical, the level design is exactly the same, and the gameplay, apart from some quality of life improvements, is unchanged. While the faithfulness to such a revered game is appreciated, the remastered version already fills that void, so it's hard not to wonder what Naughty Dog could have done if they had taken a more radical approach. 2023 was, of course, an unusually quiet year for PlayStation's first party yeah. output. Yeah. With Marvel <laughs> Spider Man 2. Okay, if you think 2023 was a quiet year, my guy, welcome to 2024, <laughs> where Sony have officially confirmed that we're not getting a major game. And uh, obviously the plans uh, were leaked, sadly, I guess, uh, with the Wolverine, right? Like, we all know like, what happened with Wolverine. The entire demo, the playable demo got leaked out, their passport, their, their, you know, employees information got leaked out, which was actually wild to say right now and think. Uh, that, yeah, that was a bigger leak than GTA 6. And with that, plans got leaked out, and uh, basically we heard that their next game is not necessarily gonna be Wolverine though. Their next game is like literally gonna be Venom DLC and I believe that's coming out by the end of 2025 and Wolverine is coming out by the end of 2026 though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Guys like in 2026 we're probably gonna have more leaks coming out about PlayStation 6. At that point we're probably even gonna hear about a PlayStation 6 officially. I would like to believe that by the end of 2026, we're probably gonna start getting teases for PlayStation 6, though. Like, come on, man. Like, that is, that is, yay. Uh, yay, nearly, yay. Wolverine claws are getting nerfed. Absolutely. Just like the Lucia Borna is gonna get nerfed in GTA 6. Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog going to remake Uncharted. Uh, uh, and we're also hearing rumors that uh, they are working on Uncharted. Not necessarily Naughty Dog. But uh, Naughty Dog is super visioning the pro supervising the project. Somebody else is working on, but we're not sure. Last, uh, uh, just like how Last of Us One was remade, we're gonna be having Uncharted One remake as well. And alongside, they're working on a new Uncharted game. I I'm not sure. These are the rumors going around. We're gonna find out. Being the only major release to fit that billing, Spider-Man Two 
is not a game you should waste your money on. Oh my not god. Not at all. No. Spider-Man 2's combat <laughs> is very familiar. It doesn't have that new suit smell anymore, but stand the original alongside the sequel in other ways. That was the homie it thoughts though. Place, and it can look a bit like two Spider-Man games pointing at each other. There's quite a bit of Marvel Spider-Man 2 that can be summed up as more of the same. Oh boy, more old sh we now have The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Side by side suggest that the two versions are a match in terms of basic image quality. The PlayStation's It's the same game, bruh! or description of the game also highlights improved shadow quality and texture quality, which are pretty tough to spot. The presentation yep, yep, of yep. shadows it appears nearly identical it between tough. the two versions. Sony reveals the release date of the PlayStation 6 and fans go crazy. Are we talking PlayStation? Bumbaka! Did the fans actually go crazy? Did you go crazy, guys? Did you? Did you go crazy? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Did you go crazy? I mean, people went... I, I've seen people going crazy about, hey, why you remastered this? Why you remastered Last of Us over and over again? I don't get it, man. So, listen, man, remaster games are not the problem. The problem is the lack of new games and remasters overtaking uh, the new game slot, right? Remasters would be cool. Like, listen, man, everybody want to see remasters here and there. But they want to see new games first, right? If we get like 10 new games and one remaster, fine. But when we get one new game and 10 remasters, I mean, come on, dog. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? You're realistic. I see you on Twitch. What's good, Papa? How you doing, Daddy? Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, check out Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, check out YouTube, man. Uh, Luke, what's good, man? I allegedly have the Wolverine game installed. Oh, no. Oh, Yo, you, you, you should not be saying that on the YouTube. So you should not be saying that online. Otherwise, like the FBI, FBI might pull up to your crib dog i'm tired of spider-man at this moment i mean spider-man is good but it's just that uh we, we need more games too right like we definitely need hell drivers i uh, it's a success right so that's actually something decent and that's uh, a a positive thing for playstation that's going on honestly uh me be like i getting it i already have okay uh no you better not say that luke you better no 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 ps3 was my last console what Oh, shit. Yo, Latinos, so what you doing? Like, uh, uh, okay, you might be playing on PC or Xbox. So, yeah, I was like, damn, son, like, you really, like, last console PS3? She. We got brand new GTA 6 leaks, guys. Let's check it out. Maybe the Lucia Bruna got leaked out once again. There's this like video sure. of a supposed GTA 6 gameplay leak with off-road sand trails testing. And some people Pat. even made it look just like the first trailer leak from December last year. But it's a total fake. The yeah. original video was posted by OpenAI. Oh, They're testing their new AI model and published some showcase videos of it, including this one. At first glance, I thought it was a real leak. They should stop the AI before it's too late, bro. Like, with this AI, man, I swear to God, man, so many people are gonna get fooled not just not just in the video game aspect of uh things but like suck is gonna in like literally you know what you can fake so many clips and you can show that to your parents and they would believe it and even though it's not, I wouldn't be surprised if off-roading looked very similar. You all they know how good the graphics bro. looked in the trailer. And this video made me even more hyped to explore the already? entire state of Leonida with all the new vehicles. So, since we have this fake debunked, let's switch gears a bit and cover some legitimate stuff. It looks like we've been getting some real info about what's going to be in the first GTA 6 trailer before it was published by Rockstar Games. No one knows who leaked all that stuff, but we've got some interesting info I show speed was, uh, celebrating his birthday right there. about the game. But let's start from the beginning. Recently, one of the Reddit users posted, The mystery of user, well look who's back. He said, So a while ago there was this person who predicted the song that would be used in the GTA 6 trailer, before it even came out. Okay. Afterward, some in this subreddit asked him where they got that information from, and he just pointed at their username, which was the exact quote the lady with the hammers used in the trailer. Yo, I, you, there were a lot of leaks about the GTA 6 song, but I believe nobody was able to get it right. I could be wrong, but... But, but you, you know what I mean? Like, the official GTA 6 theme song for the trailer, uh, rather, what I, in my, from what I've seen, like, it was not leaked out, right? And, and we heard that not even the devs, like, even the devs that worked on this game for years and years, even they were not shown the trailer. Uh, be, because they were afraid that it, it's gonna get leaked out, Sega's gonna leak the song name, Sega's gonna leak that. Uh, 10 months ago, we had Will Smith eating pasta, and now this, yeah, man, like, in 10, that was 10 months ago, I'm, I'm telling y'all, man, the air thing is actually crazy, though, so from a year, a year from now, 
uh, like 10 months later it's unrecognizable a year from now bruh like it's gonna be it's gonna be even uh worse i uh when i say worse it's gonna be even better in terms of making it feel a lot more real i give every console two years before i buy one give them time to upgrade it because a playstation 5 has three different models of the one bigger third model yeah, yeah 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 and this time like we're uh by the end of this year it's gonna be four years and you know what if you if you have not purchased ps5 or series x right now i think you're good bro like you're good the only game that i think would recommend require you to get a next-gen console like ps5 or series x would, would definitely be gta 6 and by that time we're also hearing we're getting ps5 pro so honestly though like if you get if you want to if you don't have ps5 just get ps5 pro when gta 6 comes out well look who's black man they also you. repeatedly said the trailer is coming out on december 6th weeks prior but was mostly ignored that might have even been the original date for the reveal since it's only one day after the official one lastly they also said the trailer was going to showcase the world and get everyone excited about the crazy stuff happening i'm guessing yeah. with crazy stuff they meant the tiktoks i personally don't think this person is a hacker that somehow got into the servers but an actual rockstar games employee or a child of one since contrary yeah. to the other leakers they are very supportive of Man. rockstar in general yo where is that where is that kid though you know uh rockstar north uh, director anybody any any of you know that that that's like his name like you know rockstar director I for, i'm forgetting his name but his kid leaked gta 6 gameplay stuff to his friend and his friend leaked it to the world Bruh basically to all of us right because he was like okay so my friend leaked it to me i'm gonna leak it to my new friends which happened to be us if you feel <laughs> if you get if you catch my drift right now right it was Ro a rockstar north director son yo where's that guy man yo can you can i really get like more leaks or something like the video if you agree and didn't leak anything crazy that might disrupt what the up, game's Daniel? development they are also very defensive of aaron as well as the rest yeah, of the yeah it was aaron garb <laughs> It was Aaron Garvin, his son leaked it. Man, imagine like protecting your project for from from even the aliens to see because you guys gotta understand, even the aliens didn't know this game existed, right? They knew it was it, it existed, but they never got around to seeing it. And his his son was like, okay, well, I'm gonna show it to everybody. Team and regularly shit talk the leakers. Also mentioned they will be getting the game for free. The what person decent? deleted the account shortly afterwards, but the interesting thing is that they created it on November 19th, 2023, which means they must have seen the trailer at least two weeks before it dropped. Yeah. Now, the person themselves have said the majority of employees haven't seen the trailer for fear of the song being leaked, yeah. which adds yeah. up with the devs themselves saying on Twitter they watched the trailer for the first yeah that's insane so this is a dev this is a story for the rage but the trailer leak is yeah the le uh, the trailer did get leaked a day before uh and, and i was also like hey man like you know it's just a day if it was like a year away then okay understandable kind of makes sense Bruh. but not saying that anybody should leak it but i wouldn't mind if uh somebody leaked it okay uh t3 what's good daniela i see you <laughs> he got his dad fired Nah, he was not fired because like he's the director though you know he's like top he's on the top of the the, the food chain you cannot fire that guy Unless he did like some insane stuff he, himself, then sure. But he's like on top, on top. If that was, for example, right? Like if you're a normal day, uh, normal working day employee and your son leaked it, 100% you would have been bumbleclad. You would have been thrown in another dimension though. 100%. First time when it came out. The fact that they themselves watched it though might yeah, even suggest before. he's pretty high up in the food chain. Besides, what intern would have the balls to just casually leak things on a GTA subreddit? They also seem mildly annoyed that Dan left the company to work on American Caper, which could mean they have at least interacted with him and that there's some resentment again. Damn, damn, like his ball has so shiny though. That's crazy. Man. And Stan in the studio ever since he left. Now, after talking for so long about their identity, let's it's this area alone will take like 300 gigs on your on your PlayStation or Xbox. Uh, this is my third time streaming. Hi, hi, Will. How you doing, man? Welcome on in. Straight to the point on what was revealed about on GTA shorts, 6. Yeah. First up, there's dual wielding weapons confirmed. It's one of these features from Dreams GTA no San Andreas that we I, all I, want to. I, I realistic. I did not hear about that. What's that? I. Uh... I, I, I seen like Anita somewhere like uh, on Twitter, I believe, earlier today, but I cannot recall it. I'm not honestly not sure what's that realistic make a comeback with the release of Max Payne 3 and Red Dead Redemption 2 Players also could dual wield any single-handed weapons in any combination oh, like of their choice oh, like And the return of this feature in GTA 6 with the upgrades made by Rockstar and other games could make its combat one of the best in the franchise Next up there's gore and dismemberment in the game the trailer didn't really show much You honestly man like gaming has definitely come a long way when it comes down to like graphics But I also believe that our expectations have risen tremendously as well because uh, you know 
to anybody you ask right now like if you play games and if you have played games for like a very long time you ask this question to anyone and they would say they have been disappointed with modern day gaming but then you look back at games like that no doubt like these games were amazing for the time but i don't think anybody would be able to play them the way especially okay if you already played gta san andreas in your lifetime then maybe sure you can go back to it and give it a go and you might be actually hooked again but for somebody that's like a new kid on the block that never played this game and they would if they try to go back on these games especially with graphics like that they wouldn't even last two seconds you know what i mean because attention spans are so low right now and graphically speaking this game is just not that like let's be real it's not engaging point here is that the new games graphically have improved tremendously hundred folds even i i gotta agree right you would also agree but microtransactions have overtaken the quality of the story and the narrative is not there for majority of the games there's like one game out of 10 games that would come out nowadays that would be semi-decent you feel what i'm saying yeah black mantis were also streaming on twitch as well much of this feature and it's another thing we've seen both in san andreas and red dead it simply lets you dismember pedestrians by blowing their head and other body parts off with weapons you choose then there's a mention of different color sunsets like orange purple and pinkish for miami and the trailer actually confirmed this information right from the start where the landscape shimmers in such colors another feature is the basketball three on three this one i found a bit interesting because rockstar and lebron james uh, we didn't have basketball in gta5 right game mechanics have went downhill compared to mechanics of gta4 versus 5 yeah i agree i agree gta4 mechanics like dog you could have even like hold up break you know what i mean oh, yeah you could have even thrown bricks in gta4 that was crazy the rumors uh it's that it's either the song of the trailer 2 or from one yeah and when do you guys expect gta6 trailer 2 nicholas i appreciate you for subscribing thank you shout out to you gang gang i just saw you subscribing uh wh wh when do you guys think gta6 trailer 2 gonna come out rumor has it like it's gonna be right before their investor call in may yeah they're gonna have their investor call in the first week of may the, the real ones i remember you man walk about it tv what's good man uh Palestine, absolutely, 110%, man. Like, those suckers are... Uh, this is not a politics channel. Uh, here's what I'm gonna say, okay? As a human, whatever happening in Palestine, absolutely cruel. And same goes for Israel, right? Like, both people are... It's bad for both sides uh, right now. But majority that is effective is definitely uh, Palestine. So, free Palestine, 100% hyped each other up when the trailer was released. It would be cool if they used him for motion capture. It is worth noting that GTA San Andreas is the only game that allows gamers to play basketball, so it's another feature possibly making a comeback from this game. Then he mentioned that it will be harder to carjack NPCs. It's something I've mentioned a few months ago in one of my videos. This feature is one of those that divided players. Some would like car theft to indeed be more challenging, while others can- I love this game, man. Your Mafia 2 hands down was one of the best game though. Hands down consider it an unnecessary complication. I think that at the beginning, it may be quite interesting, but with longer gameplay, it could become annoying. I hope that if this feature is indeed in the final game, Rockstar will implement it in a balanced way so as not to ruin such an important element of the game. The leaker was also saying some obvious stuff like the gameplay leak we saw as an old build and the game will look much better. He probably 100%. talked about 100%. the leaks from September 2022, and it's one of those pieces of information we knew from the start. Each leaked footage was dated and timed, and it was clear they were not current recordings. Another pretty obvious thing he mentioned is that there is apparently nothing like the real map, and no one will know what it looks like before the game comes out. Here I oh, partly yeah. agree because indeed we are not able to know what the entire map of GTA 6 looks like, but it's not 100% true. The GTA 6 mapping community has been working for many months on a legitimate map of the game based on the leaks, which actually contained coordinates of where the player is located. I, at this point I feel like that the GTA community has worked harder on this map than the entirety of rockstar uh, working on this game bro. hey hey is black nor uh, black nor in still black nor uh wh what's that what's that yeah i'm not sure i eleanor no you probably mean something else but i'm thinking about eleanor as a game right yeah i would love eleanor eleanor 2 right after gta 6 so uh did you did you hear about gta 6 6 star wanted level they're saying five star eddie they're saying five star though that map looks like the need for speed hate it's not gonna look like this it's just like uh people like the community is just putting it together the actual map is gonna be uh, I, I guess the structure is gonna be the same same but the colors are gonna be different if that makes sense though you have a like you have an arab that question you know i was going to be answered lol uh latino i'm not an arab bro i'm not an arab bro uh 
uh, why the live stream is like in the TikTok. I don't like it. Check it out on Twitch, bro. On Twitch, I got full screen, brother. I got full screen. In the video, you said Mafia 2, but it was LNR gameplay. That was LNR? No, that was not. That was Mafia 2, dog. That was Mafia 2, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I remember playing. Or oh, what? Maybe and then they also added locations seen in the trailer. One of the last interesting things the leaker wrote is that Jamie King's opinion on GTA 6 has no value and is irrelevant. Nah, bro, that was uh, that was Mafia 2. Uh, I I played LNR uh, and I played both Mafia 2 and LNR, bro. Greetings from Australia. What's good? I know user. How are you doing, man? That map looks like. Did you hear about the G? Yeah, no. GTA 4 car damage and physics are better than GTA 5. If you don't know who that is, Jamie King was a co-founder and vice president of development at yeah, Rockstar maybe. Games, but he left the studio in 2000. Six, following a disagreement over the future direction of the Grand Theft Auto series Bruh. and several other Rockstar titles. A few years ago, he spoke on the company's future, claiming that the upcoming releases such as GTA 6 may not be as edgy or quite as humorous as Man. we've come to expect. Okay, but getting back to the mysterious Reddit account- We want this game to be edgy, dog. Come on, man. Enough of the bull crap, dog. But yeah, honestly, though, like at this point, it's kind of like a guarantee that GTA 6 is not going to be as edgy as GTA 5. And GTA 5 was not as, as edgy. Technically, it was, to be honest. Like, uh, yeah, I don't. I, I was going to say, or, or maybe you can disagree or you can agree, right? Uh, uh, GTA San Andreas was edgy in its own way, but different times, right? GTA 5, uh, uh, no, nah, GTA 5, honestly, like, one of the best game all around, right? But we're sick and tired of, like, G playing GTA 5, I mean, we gotta wait a year for this saga. And if GTA 6 comes out by the end of 2025, then holy crap. How many of you think it's gonna come out in 2025? One in the comments if you believe that GTA 6 is gonna deadass come out in 2025. Whether that's like early 2025, whether that's like towards the end of 2025, let's settle this thing fast, okay? Because I, 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 have, I have a feeling that it might not, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I have a feeling that it might actually come out by the end of 2026. Okay, let me actually pull up my Twitter real quick. Okay, I, I want like a black background so like your comments are easily visible. How do I do that? Okay, let me put it right here. Okay, yeah, now your comments are easily visible here. Did not work with the with double tab, bro. It did not? Uh, I, I mean, I got full screen on, on Twitch, uh, but here we're, we're trying out the new format. What the hell is this update of YouTube? This looks like a copy paste of TikTok. Yeah, it's a copy and paste of TikTok that uh, the Sipples. What up, brother? Uh, let, I appreciate you, man. How you doing, man? What is good? What's good, man? Uh, we got straight chilling since 2025. Uh, realistic says 2026 over on Twitch. Because honestly, though, like, I would not be surprised if GTA 6 comes out by the end of 2025 uh, or early 2026 to be honest i would not be surprised this is because like rockstar they have a track record like that guys like you know what i'm saying uh, it feels like that we are living in a parody of reality we really you never know we might be i don't want to say we really are some sickers believe that the earth is flat the earth is flat lock yourselves in the basement the martians are here yes yeah, some sickers believe that the earth is flat space never happened space fake moon landing was fake uh yeah there's a whole lot of conspiracy but let's keep let's focus on the topic at hand okay count leaking all that info me. who was that person no one knows he definitely works for rockstar but i doubt it's sam hauser as some think one of the users said he could be a senior video editor who worked on the trailer directly because he was disturbed by the departure of dan hauser so he likely had some years what? under his belt what's even hey, more yo, interesting yo, he's not the only person who knew a lot about the trailer before it even dropped there was another user jarl of rivia who claimed to have seen the trailer and pointed out a few things first he mentioned the scenery is very very tropical looks your death disciples i see you over on the twitch man appreciate you man let me send you some kisses. yeah i'm trying to grow on twitch as well like for the longest amount of time i neglected twitch like literally all every time for all my time doing youtube i i neglected twitch so now we're doing twitch and youtube at the same time like why not stream on both right you know you feel what i'm saying so i got like youtube with the with the tiktoks and i got like twitch with the full screen okay i got you both all right it's like paradise there are some islands and it looks absolutely surreal and he also said there's a part that's being filmed by a helicopter view and you see a car on the street upside down with several car pieces around it from the crash then he mentioned there's a part with some ladies dancing on top of cars Dang and the character so? faces are 1000 times better than an rdr2 also, the main characters appear in bed, a swamp appears with a hovercraft-type boat, and there were flamingos and crocodiles. Police body cam footage- I would be lucky, I think we would all be lucky to see like two flamingos flying Bruh. in the game. 
<laughs> nah, okay, with Rockstar, I tell you, it's gonna be more than just two, but you know what I'm saying. Like, come on, man. Like, second, please, man. Like, bitch, please, dog. It's like, it's not gonna be that many, though. How many of you feel like that we're gonna see that much wildlife in the game, though? If we do see that much, like, holy crap. I want to, don't get me wrong, but it's like, how many times we've seen game trailers and demos look this good, but when the game, game comes out, it's like, dog. <laughs> It's nothing like that. Uh, Cyberpunk Prime example. Those things, I mean, they even faked the demo, though. We figured out after the fact, but the TikTok view is kind of throwing me off. I, don't, I got you on Twitch, brother. I got you with the full screen on Twitch, man. Uh, we got the... Uh, uh, oh, my bad, it's it was Mafia 2. Yeah, it was Mafia 2, man. I'm, I'm telling you, it was Mafia 2, brother. Like, I, I played both of those games uh, as, a, as a young lad. Uh, give me Skittle, what's good, man? What's good, Skittle? I'm here too now. Oh, you Roman? I got you, brother. Welcome on in, man. I see you on Twitch. Gang, gang, brother. Uh, YouTube Shorts. Yeah, Nacho, like I'm testing out this new YouTube Shorts uh, format for, with the with the streams uh, And I tried my very best to have like face cam there and uh, make sure like the, the the gameplay part is visible I think if you're on mobile, it's very very good But if you're watching on PC, you're probably not gonna like for PC uh, for my PC homies We're streaming on uh, Twitch. I'm just testing it out guys uh, You know whenever we have like any sort of like DLC uh, coming out for games new games coming out when we're playing games for the first time For example when GTA 6 comes out, I'm gonna be doing normal stream. Okay. I got you. Okay whenever we have some some sort of uh, some sort of an event we're, we're gonna do a normal stream okay i got you man but just for like uh you know these streams off the cuff uh i guess uh, i'm just giving it a shot you know Ingos and crocodiles police body cam footage appears love, showing man. entry into a house and civil police are seen taking a crocodile out of a swimming pool a chihuahua on the beach with its owners jogging with lots of people there he definitely knew a lot and it was before the trailer dropped was he the same person as the one i talked about earlier we will probably never know but it's yeah, really intriguing that so much information about the game and trailer appeared around the same time this second person Person initially also mentioned that the game is expected to appear in the first quarter of Hi, I've seen the trailer. I can point out a few things. If this get more views, I pound out, point out more. Nah, come on, man. You're just a cloud goblin. You're just lying to the normies out here. RDR2 has shown me what Rockstar is capable. To be honest, you're right. Uh, with Red Dead Redemption 2, honestly, that was their last project. And that is proof that this upcoming game is going to be good. But here's the thing, though. I don't want to be bare of bad news. <laughs> Uh, but you know that for the fact that 2015 Batman Arkham game from Rocksteady was way better, <laughs> was way better than their 2024 Suicide Squad game. You know what I mean, right? Like 2015 game from, but I get it. That's Rocksteady. You cannot compare and I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to say that guys like old games were just better overall versus whatever we are getting nowadays. Yeah, you know, uh, it does not mean that GTA 6 is gonna be bad. I truly am excited for the game. I truly think this is gonna be that game that will last for at least a decade, potentially even two, hopefully not two decades, because by that time, like, I definitely need a new, I would want a new GTA game, though. Uh, let's be real. I hope, uh, hopefully GTA 6 lasts for five years and we get, like, a new game, <laughs> new GTA game after five years. Realistically, not gonna happen, but uh, facts, 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 you spitting facts, they should at least show us some new picks. They probably are gonna... I think uh, by uh, by uh, if we do not get anything like this summer, then I would be a little bit skeptical of the game coming out by the end of 2025. Even at that point, I would be like, the game is coming out. Yeah, it's coming out like early 2026. You feel what I'm saying? Twitch stream is more chill, realistic. I, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, the short vertical aspect messes up with the entire browser on YouTube. Yeah, if you're on oh, if you're on mobile, watch it on YouTube. If you're on PC or TV, watch it on Twitch. I guess that's uh, how it goes. And uh, appreciate you guys following on Twitch as well. Uh, appreciate it, yo. This is dope. Do this more. If uh, yeah, exactly. The homie. Okay, the homie on YouTube says that. Uh, says that. Yo, this is dope. Do this more if possible. Double streams too. Also, cut the single homies uh, out. Uh, chest gradually, bro. I got you, man. I got you, man. I got you, man. Just trying to test out the different formats, guys. Uh. 2025 probably january or february this was later debunked by the user themselves in several comments though and while we're on the topic of the release date there's this article saying that previous indications from take two management suggested gta 6 would release during the company's fiscal year 2025 season? which runs april 1st 2024 march 31st 2025 however during take two's earnings call cfo laney goldstein said the company is in the midst of the budgeting process for fiscal year 25 
I mean, Laney first said that they're gonna be making 8 billion, and now Laney was like, we're gonna make 7 billion, which raised the suspicion that the game is gonna be delayed a little bit. Because, yeah, it uh, they also did mention calendar 2025, because previously they did say that it's gonna be coming out, like, what, uh, fiscal 2025? Now they say calendar. For the normies, fiscal 2025 means, like, before April 2025, and calendar 2025 means between January and December of 2025. Earlier they said it's gonna come out fiscal, which means early 2025, now they say calendar. The reason they said it is because they surely are not thinking about dropping it early 2025, so the game is not coming out uh, when you guys think, man. Honestly, we never know, it might come out in 2026. Yo, happy coming in with one paper! <laughs> Yo, thank you for the one, man. Uh, thank you, appreciate it, man. It should be popping on the stream in just a second as well. Uh, Brad, GTSX 2077, let's be real. YouTube on phone and Twitch on the TV. Hell yeah, brother. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, man. I low-key wonder what GTS 7 would be about Texas, maybe. Honestly, like, for GTS 7, I, I, I hope, like, it's somewhere else. It's, like, somewhere outside of uh, the US, right? Uh, I would not mind Dubai. Uh, I would not mind Tokyo. I wouldn't mind London either. I wouldn't mind Toronto either. I'm in Montreal, Canada, so I wouldn't mind Toronto either, though. I hope it's somewhere out, though. Uh, I also do want to get, like, uh, Liberty City again. I, I truly want New York. Yeah, New York. I, I do want New York as well. I, I think especially, like, <laughs> let's just, let's be real, man. GTA 7 probably gonna come out, like, after 2035, right? You're happy. Thank you for the one, man. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for the paper. Uh, uh, so done with the Call of Duty and Fortnite. You, you're not liking Fortnite? Yo, how many of you guys are still playing Fortnite, though? How many of you still are? GTA 7? Oh, no, bro. Oh, come on, brother. Come on, man. Don't talk about that island, though. Yo, last time I accidentally almost talked about it, though. On the YouTube, you yeah, cannot talk about it on the YouTube, man. Uh, your move up was good, man. How you doing, bro? Welcome on. Yeah, yeah. Welcome on in, man. Appreciate the 50 likes on the stream, guys. Uh, I know it's a different format, uh, but uh, thank you all, man. But realistically, I think a lot of people assume, because uh, quite frankly, I believe that the next GTA game, we're gonna be lucky if we get it before 2035, right? So by 2035, guys, like, think about it. Like, we're probably gonna have the PlayStation 6, right? Uh, we're probably gonna be towards the end of its life cycle even. We're probably gonna be approaching PlayStation 7 because we're hearing PS6 will be coming out in 2028. So 2035, goddamn. That, that would be like PlayStation 7 right there. So around that time, I guess the graphics, uh, the leap gonna be insane. So GTA 7, I would not mind New York, but I, I, I quite frankly though, I, I, I want like a new city altogether, like something that we've never been before in the realm of GTA 7, if that makes sense. Agree, disagree? Yo, what up, Joe? How you doing, man? GTA 9, the whole universe. Uh, and yeah, a lot of people were like, okay, well, GTA 6 is gonna make it so it's like the entire world map. Nah, come on, man, bitch, please. It's uh, <laughs> we don't have PlayStation 20. Yeah, uh, dude, we we would need PlayStation 20 honestly for that, but. 100 years from now man honestly you and i wouldn't be around but like if anybody's watching this stream and listening from a hundred years from now like holy crap i i think a hundred years from now we might have a gta game that's like the entire us though yeah 100 years from now damn though like that would be insane and that is if we have not blown over planet up uh, GTA 7 Mexico because of the cartels. I would not mind. I I've been watching like Breaking Bad a lot, so the cartels and crap like that. Yeah, I would not mind. Uh, and, and if they, if they, and seriously, like if they ever do Mexico, I think it's like they're gonna do uh, like the the U.S. border as well. You know, they are 100 gonna do like the the south of the, the the South America, not like South America, America, like the continent. I mean, the south of America. Uh, North America, actually, yeah, Bruh. probably as confusing, but you know what I mean, right? Uh, they're probably gonna do a, the border of the U.S. and Mexico. Yeah, that that would be crazy though. GTA, Google Maps, GTA 11, the Meta version of Mal. Xbox Game Pass for PC way better than owning on Xbox. I mean, if you got a good PC, then Game Pass on PC that's like a luxury right there, though. That's a luxury and a half right there. That at that point you're flying, brother. Uh, Mexico is North America. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I didn't mean like South America as a continent. I meant like South of America. America. Like America, the US, the south of US. Let me just say that way it's much, uh, much more. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I think if they ever do Mexico, they're probably gonna do south of the US as well. Oh, uh, let me play that. 
alive, and the figure currently is looking like it will come in at a little north of $7 billion. This is down from a previous forecast of $8 billion. Such a significant reduction points to GTA 6 slipping out of fiscal year 25 and into a window between April and December of 2025. Sadly, One of the GTA sadly. forum's users replied to that. If that revenue bump is actually for GTA 6, which it probably is, this could suggest that they might be trying to squeeze it into fiscal year 2025 by releasing it in the last week of March 2025. That oh way, they get God. 4 to 5 days worth of sales instead of 30 to 40 days if it were, say, a February 2025 release. Hence I, I guess everybody here would be like, yeah, bro, give us in March, bro. We don't care, man. We don't care. That's like better than dropping by the end of 2025. Yeah, give us uh, in March, bro. Honestly, I would not mind. I would seriously not mind if you guys cannot drop GTA 6 in January of 2025 or February of 2025. I would take it in March of 2025. Like the video if you agree. The lower than expected revenue projections. I still think it'll get delayed to mid late 2025, but there's still a possibility of a first quarter of 2025 release. Tez2, who hardly needs any introduction, replied, And if that was indeed GTA 6, then a February release wouldn't have made much sense if the delay was purely for technical reasons. You would expect that to be more of a marketing decision, or that the game is in an almost perfect state to be released, but there are a few bugs to squish out. But that decision may not be made until we are closer to that window, when it's very clear to the management what the state of the game is. If the yeah. delay is purely technical yeah. to have enough time to make substantial progress, then the small period from January through February, while simultaneously ensuring no crunch occurs, doesn't meet the criteria of enough time. Hence, Rockstar delaying GTA 5 expanded and enhanced to March, not February, to have enough time for polishing. And this is the same case when RDO was in active... Yo, seriously, guys? Like, okay, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, we gotta do this, man. <laughs> we gotta do this, man. I'm, first of all, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry to give you PTSD because I'm about to give you like a massive dosage, like 20 pounds of PTSD right now, okay? How many times you think GTA 6 is gonna be remastered? Remaster. How many times you think GTA 6 is gonna be remastered? Realistically, you know these suckers are gonna uh, put out a PC port, right? A year or two after, so that's possible. I wouldn't call that a remaster. Uh, for PS5 Pro is gonna be coming out before GTA 6 is out. So would they actually remaster GTA 6 for PS5 Pro? I don't know. I honestly think they would not. There would be no reason to because the PS5 Pro, from what we're hearing, is gonna be coming out before, you know what I mean? Before GTA 6. But I feel like that they're definitely gonna and they gonna wanna enhance GTA 6. They gonna wanna enhance the bitch for uh, the PS5 Pro. So, uh, what I mean by this, uh, are they gonna make it like 8k like we are hearing? We're hearing that it's gonna be 8k on the PS5 Pro. Uh, you, do you guys believe that PS5 Pro is gonna be 8k? Come on now, man. Like, I got RTX 3090, 24 gigabytes of VRAM. It got 24 gigabytes of raw power. Not trying to flex, guys, but that's a fact, okay? Uh, I'm going somewhere. Hear me out, okay? I got 64 gigabytes of DDR. 4 RAM, not 5. I got, I believe, Ryzen 3900X or 3950X. I'm not sure. What I'm trying to say here is that I have one of the best PC, right? I, I don't have RTX 4090. I got 3090 with that setup, okay? And me playing Microsoft Flight Simulator at high settings, 1080p, 60fps, and my PC struggles. Y y like, what? I was playing at ultra, it was like glitching out a little bit, like it was uh, like the frame rate was kind of buggy, so I turned my settings down to high, and, and I have turned down the detail, on, like there's a slider on, on PC, right, like those of you that played uh, or play Microsoft Flight Simulator, Simulator, you know what I mean, it's uh, very taxing. So you're telling me like my PC struggles to play <laughs> Flight Simulator at 1080 60 FPS while I got... RTX 3090, you think PS5 Pro gonna do 8K? I can see it do 8K for Netflix. Bruh. I can see it do 8K for like Fortnite or something like that. That I believe it. But 4K, come on, man, bitch, please though. Okay, now to be honest, I can I can see it. Yeah, PS5 can normal PS5 can do like 4K 30 for some games. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 okay, I can. I, I I'm assuming like it's gonna be able to do like 4K 60 for GTA 6. 
uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, I'm having a hard time comprehend that. You know what I mean? Like, as I'm saying this, I'm hesitating clearly. Uh, you can clearly uh, tell, right? Uh, weird flex mode, okay? Flight sim uh, runs like shit. Flight sim, uh, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Like, it's not too optimized. And, uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a witness. So, uh, and I'm a victim, plus a vic witness. Realistic, yeah, I'm a weeb on Twitch, Lamel. Uh, what's up, my weebs? Any fellow weebs in the YouTubes or on the Twitch? Let me know, man. But yo, I love Flight Simulator a lot. I feel like that I'm like, if if you throw me in a plane right now, I'll be confident enough to crash it. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not confident enough to land the plane, but I'm confident enough to take the plane off. You feel what I'm saying? Because I've been like playing a lot uh, on the PC. I, I I know a little bit about the speeds, the velocities, and how to go in like <laughs> like that. You know, the PC uh, and in the plane. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Like I I think I'm very I, I can fly a plane right now. I definitely cannot land it. I'm not that good. But uh, eventually, I will become a pilot, guys. F certified by Microsoft Flight Simulator for whatever that that's worth. Development. It's only by early February that we tend to see updates continuing the DLC development. You wouldn't expect accelerated progress with devs just coming off the holiday. Basically, it would have been a March release from the get-go if we're uh -huh. talking purely technical reasons. And if Take-Two or Rockstar couldn't meet a holiday 2024 window, which they were likely considering back in May, then the next reasonable window would have been a March release. So if Q1 2025 boils down to a March release, and let's suppose it's squeezed out into the end of the month based off the lower than expected revenue projection and we have the two previous games as precedents and rockstar not being obligated to meet that deadline for take two's sake if there's a need to delay then there are not enough reasonable grounds to be confident of that window as much as i would love to see a march release so we still to, cannot honestly. be sure in which month gta 6 will be released but there's a good chance that the second trailer Man, will they, like honestly guys like i so want to see that beach uh in real life and because i'll be uh, i'll be in miami in june right so I'll be, uh, I'll try and record some videos and do like a GTA 6 real life, but I so want to see that Still cannot be sure the... in which month GTA 6 will be released, but there's- I, I so want to see this beach in the game as well. I truly hope it's this alive, man. Like, look at, there's so many sisters out here. Like, look at that. We got sister running, we got sister walking, and right here, sister doing the haram out here on the TikToks, YouTube, you cannot see, but on Twitch, you can, what I mean, right? No, I'm sheen. But you got, like, so many sisters out here. Like, there's so much activity going on. Like, I want to, okay, if you are in Miami, or if you've ever been into uh, Miami Beach, is it like, do you see this much get there? Is that, like, true? Is this, like, an accurate depiction? Because I know, like, the end is nigh. Like, we living in the end times. Repent now, guys. Lock yourselves in the basement. Repent now. The end is nigh. Yeah, I do believe the end is nigh. So, prayers out for my brothers and sisters out here. Uh, like, damn. Like, sheesh. You know what I'm saying? Woo. Yeah. Uh, I have the same problem with laptop 4080. Weird flesh. Okay, but okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to get GTA 6 for, like, 20 years. <laughs> I hope not, brother. I hope not. Uh, two, uh, we're, we're just uh, checking out the YouTubes. We're talking gaming. We're relaxing. We're bonding. That's what's good, man. Yo, Terran, what's good? Welcome on in. I'll definitely get delayed. It will definitely get delayed like every Rockstar game. Uh, in, in real life, that beach is active, then dry, and it just repeats. Okay, so you mean like it's probably going to be similar, but I'm assuming it's... But, but like, if you go to the Miami Beach, right? Can a brother perhaps like get the liberty of walking around is it like comfortable to walk around or is it like so much get everywhere like you cannot even walk around because i don't want to be like at the beach where like you know what you see like burna in your face get on the on the right get on the left and you just cannot like walk around it's like you know it's just the the the, the pom pom everywhere like okay yeah sure like we want to see pom pom but like i don't want like pom pom to the point where I cannot walk around. Can a brother perhaps like take a like a step? You know, you feel what I'm saying? Like I want to take like a two step or perhaps can I can a brother take like two steps? Like can a brother like walk a little bit comfortably though? I'm not talking about walking comfortably, but I'm talking about walking a little bit comfortably, right? Uh, can't wait to drive a truck on the beach. Uh, there it goes. I mean, YouTube would be on your ass. Uh, yo, I should not be saying that. Yo, appreciate subscribing. Yo, thank you guys. Uh, like and subscribe, man. Like and subscribe. Appreciate the shik 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 likes and check, uh, appreciate you guys checking out on uh, on uh, Twitch as well. Yeah, haram everywhere. Yeah, a lot of sisters uh, doing the haram out here, though. There's a good chance that the second trailer will reveal a more specific date and may even start pre-orders for the upcoming game. Actually, a lot could happen between the first and second trailers, and any moment now, we might get some official screenshots from Rockstar. Spider Vice made an 
interesting timeline of what happened before the second trailer for GTA 5. In July 2012, we got the first two screenshots of the game, and then in August, the viral Epsilon program Twitter account started. A bit later the same month, we got another portion of screenshots of transport, business, and leisure. Next, we have the announcement of Game Informer's November 2012 cover being GTA 5, accompanied by a huge info blowout. Then in October, Rockstar released the first artwork named Pest Control. Later the same month, we got a leak of artwork with Chop, the original release date, and platforms. In the yeah, next, yeah, that's a that's a real jug machine in the back. Uh, I bought it with Black Ops 3 back in 2015. I got it with the collector's edition. Right now, stickers are selling. Last time I checked, stickers were selling that shit for two grand on eBay, though. Oh shit! I I, I sold literally my Black Ops 2 collector edition and Black Ops 4. I bought the mystery box, and it it just wasn't that good. I sold everything, but I kept this like uh, for now because I love it. Right? Maybe like 10, 20 years from now, this would be so much like it would it might be worth like 20 g's i might be able to sell this sucker for 20 g's so i'm just keeping it around right because suckers are selling it for two g's right now uh yes you can if you walk with your eyes closed okay that's uh okay appreciate that man uh run over everyone lamel breath falling out on the pom pom yeah like uh i i feel like that yeah i hope i'm able to walk around the beach in real life i hope uh, okay yeah pom pom sure but i don't want that much pom pom on the beach to the point where i just cannot take a step you look uh, you kind of look like my grandpa okay well cassio what's good man how you doing man uh why do squirrels swim on their backs uh, so they don't get their nuts wet okay jay uh, Bruh. yeah jake nice we love it <laughs> Okay, that was a good one. That was a good one. Next couple of days, more artwork leaked. On November 1st, okay. 2012, we had the leaks of the viewfinder picture viewer pre-order bonuses that you could physically look into and see pics of Vespucci Beach, Grapeseed, etc. Trailer 2 was announced on November 2nd and released on November 14th. All of this stuff happened before Trailer 2 was released, and by the time it did, a bunch of magazines were getting previews too. So there's a chance for lots of info before we even think of a trailer. The pathetic state of AAA gaming. All right, let's check it out. Upper echelon, like and share, subscribe. Right. Today's video is, how do I put this delicately? Oh no. Commentary on the state of AAA video games. Oh my now, God. Now to properly discuss that, we need to focus on Skull and Bones because I'm not sure if there's ever actually been a more flagrant- Skull and Bones, according to Ubisoft, is a quadruple A game. Do you watch or, <laughs> or what? What are we thinking? Great example of just how far this oh, industry this be has bad. fallen. Let's get this out of the way right now. Skull and Bones is an objectively bad product. You can certainly like an objectively bad game, it happens all the time, but in order for this video to make any sort of sense, we have to tackle things from a shared perspective, which basically requires that we acknowledge the game as an abject conceptual failure. Disagree? Mm. Fine. Type it all out in the comments. You probably already started for that matter, but that's okay. It was basically essential for this to be stated at the onset so we can tackle the subject with a shared understanding. So why do I feel the need to make this video? Games come out all the time. Some of them are good, others bad. Cause it's fun! Dropping a deuce on games, but honestly, Skull and Bones, like I've seen so many people defend this trash. It's absolutely insane. Uh, if you in my chat like it, I got no problem. Cause at the end of the day, like we're gonna be dead soon, right? Like it's a video game. I get it though. But like guys, like even if you like the game, I guess you also can agree that it's not a quadruple A game, my guy. If this game is quadruple, then what GTA 6 is gonna be? Like, think about it for a second. You know, triple A games are having a hard time. We talk, we own quadruple A games. Bumble Life God. goes on. Bumble what makes this one special? Why is it worth discussing? And what can we possibly learn from it in the broader context of triple A video games? Here's why. Skull and Bones is a $200 million project worked oh on by God. hundreds and hundreds of people, paid for by the government of Singapore through subsidies. Dog, you seconds could have give that $200 million to your fans and we would have been even more happy. Like the video if you agree. Everybody that's watching this video or live stream right now, currently, like the video if you deserve to get that 100 benches because I believe it. You know what? Whenever in doubt, call Skizzle! I'm gonna hit you up with two benches, okay? I'm gonna fight for your right. Those 200 million, y'all suckers could have invested back in your fans. Y'all suckers could have given that to your fans for playing your your games, for, you know, acknowledging and torturing themselves of, uh, playing your games, right? You should have given that to your fans as a token of appreciation. It took over 10 years to make and is distinctly inferior to the game it was technically inspired by, which came out in 2013. That's a lot, I know, so let's go step by step. In 2017, news began to rapidly spread that Ubisoft Singapore, that's important for later, would okay. be making a standalone game based on the success of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. 
Sounds good, right? Of course yeah. it does. There's a massive <laughs> hole in the market right now, even okay. more so okay. back then, because Where no one is go? actually yeah, making so. good pirate games, and even the ones we do have are incredibly stylized or cartoonish. Ubisoft had a gem here with basically everything teed up for them perfectly. Well, flash forward during 2020, three years after the original hype cycle and seven years after the game initially entered development as a multiplayer expansion for Black Flag, and Ubisoft let all of their trademarks expire for Skull and Bones, including Damn. merchandise, digital software, certain logos, etc. At that time, I wondered if the game would ever actually come out at all, because it yeah. looked more like the studio was shoving- This game was delayed so much that Sega's even thought that it's never gonna come out, and I believe even at Ubisoft at one point, I believe that they also would have thought about not releasing this game at all. And they would have been better off not releasing this trash, but I guess they were so uh, deep into it. It's like one of those things, right? When you're so like deep into your girl, you're like, okay, let me do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, why pull out? But now, sometimes guys, pulling out is better than staying in. Uh, and um, Ubisoft was, uh, you know, in the heat of the moment, they were like, let's uh, let us just stay in, right? And they stayed a little bit too long, and uh, they, they had to come out with a way to uh, convince the fans, right? To butter the toast. Uh, and they had this secret weapon by the name of Quadruple, my guy. Uh, in there, we got some UFO videos that we were gonna check out towards the end. I got you. it under the rug to just announce cancellation at a later date, trying to get some distance, maybe. But Gaming at that particular dead, moment, I also didn't have all the facts. Not long after, in 2021, we got more information from a Kotaku article, courtesy of Ethan oh, Gosh, no. where it was revealed that the game would eventually come out because, yeah. quote, a deal with the Singapore government requires it. Damn. In addition to hiring a- What? And eventually it did, but they had a deal with Singapore government. God damn, what did they do though? Did you guys steal like their ice cream or something like that, that you had to make uh, a promise? A certain number of people at its Singapore studio in exchange for generous subsidies. They said Ubisoft Singapore must also launch original brand new IPs in the next few years. End quote. A lot of people already know that or learned it over the past couple of years, but that's not original my ass. Not insignificant. If a national government gives you money for a specific purpose and you spend that money over the course of basically a decade, you kind of have to hold up your end of the deal. Do not tell this to the Singapore citizens. So like your government like wasted your tax paying money. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I think like in Singapore, ta there are no taxes. I could be wrong. But you know, for the sake of this argument though, forget about logic, logic don't exist, facts don't exist, but just simply put this, right? <laughs> they, those singers have wasted tax paying dollars, bro, taxpayer dollars over some bullshit. <laughs> deal, especially if you have an entire office in that country with hundreds of employees and very you, easy Rainer. accessibility for the business to be it's held pleasure, accountable right? should you find yourself in breach of said contract. Basically, Ubisoft made a deal they couldn't actually break without very severe consequences. Man. One year later, in 2022, Kotaku senior writer Ethan Gosh elaborated on social media saying, quote, was told there was supposed to be a closed test this month, but was canceled due to the state of the build. It's coming either way, though, due to existing government subsidy agreement. The Singapore government subsidizes Ubisoft Studio there for hiring and training new devs, similar to companies' arrangements in Canada. But Damn, it also Canada. requires the studio to launch an original new IP, and it's been running out of time." End quote. Also very interesting to me that they have a similar arrangement in Canada, so Ubisoft is just raking in the government money for mediocre products. What? This further reiterates the fact- Bro, like, sick is over here and nah, bro, come on, dog. Holy crap, bro. I, I'm out here like busting my ass, making the dollars, and uh, and uh, the Canadian government is like, e -e -e, give me all your dollars. Like, they, they like they be taxing me like crazy right now. And, and I get like uh, so much of my salary going to the, 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 the taxes. And in return, they're like giving that money and they're funding this bull squash. Nah, bro. Come on, bro. Like, that's. Nah, man, yo, if you're in Canada, bro, you need to, like, <clears throat> yeah, we need to get together, bro. Like, the taxes are bullshit out here, man. They, 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 the percentages of taxes are so high right now, bro. <laughs> it is crazy, man. The middle class is crying out here. I'm, I'm assuming it's kind of similar in, in the U.S. as well. Everyone donates to Skizzle with Dogecoin. Man, I would take the Dogecoin, absolutely, man. Thank you, brother. Uh, Ubisoft opened a studio 
in Singapore. That was a mistake. Uh, that said, I'm doing a GTA 6 mission in Singapore, Lamo. <laughs> in Germany, we pay 45%. Bro, it is insane. I would say, like, in every first world country, it's almost similar. It's like, give or take, it's like here and there but it's almost the same like everybody in the first world countries the middle class is crying right now with today's economy with the taxes like everybody's crying like i'm i'm hearing like a lot of people cry on twitter tiktok they're like some you probably heard and seen videos of like some chicks on tiktok saying that well i work so hard on the weekend uh i cannot even afford anything i cannot even go out and i'm like damn bro like i i hear that cries i'm like they're not wrong but it's like it'll be what it be welcome to the club now they know the pain that men go through right because for the longest amount of time the chicks were like you know, I need a hubby that's making six figures, seven figures a year. Your Roman coming in at five favor. Wait, what? Okay, you, it looks like that you uh, donated on Twitch. You appreciate it. No comment? Yo, thank you, man. Yo, that's... <laughs> your 30% of that is probably gonna go to the Canadian taxes, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but man if you're a chick out here that's working uh, and you do not have a, a bf or a hubby welcome to our world and you see like this is uh, life is hard it's hard being a man sometimes yeah y'all y'all chicks be like okay i want to marry i want a hubby that's making six figures a year seven figures a year now you understand what's happening now you understand what's happening the pay is uh, not that high everybody's struggling man the middle class is struggling everywhere uh damn it though how do you the ng okay i'm not sure what's that give me skittles uh shiba to the one usd damn you guys be talking about yeah make sure you guys are investing with uh with knowledge though and i hope you guys nothing but like uh like a 10 billion dollars though you feel what i'm saying like and subscribe for me to wish you some good luck man i'm happy a single yeah man single life's uh, the best life man but but you know what sometimes it's not sometimes it's not you know eventually 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 but for now single is good but eventually eventually you know fact that skull and bones was effectively commissioned by the singapore government in return for significant funding to ubisoft which is okay. a publicly traded company and also come hell or high water the game would eventually come out regardless of what condition it was actually in as you can see this is not a great showcase of the state of AAA gaming right now Interestingly, in my review for Skull and Bones, I said it felt like a stitched together homunculus of unrelated concepts, succeeding Roman, in very little aside from its ability to elicit confusion. And if you read the employee feedback on Glassdoor for Ubisoft Singapore, you can see things like this, quote, stubborn directors that don't <laughs> listen to developer feedback, conflicting instructions oh, and opinions no. from different studios affecting projects two star oh my god okay so the guy literally gave two star learn exactly what not to do junior gameplay programmer shout out to junior gameplay programmer we love you brother we love you homie yeah these are the cons uh, stubborn directors f them directors son direction and progress end quote or Okay, who is the guy beneath that says that four out fun place? <laughs> Probably must be a woke chick working there that's saying it's a fun place. How about this one? One star, no direction, <laughs> management has no clue what they are doing. That sentiment is echoed all over gaming media, but we need to remember here that even in 2021, according to Kotaku at least, Ubisoft was $120 million in the hole on this one. Flash forward three more years, and they were reportedly crossing the $200 million mark reported by oh sources goodness. of insider gaming in that case, which meant that Ubisoft was locked in a government contract producing a brand new first party video game that had been delayed six times publicly Damn. over the course of roughly 10 years. Damn. Still, if that was everything, we could probably chalk it up as an unfortunate case of they bit off more than they could. But I, uh, but I genuinely feel like that. If you were a dev that was just doing your job, that didn't, re you were just doing what you were told, you were still getting paid by the hour. So I, I guess if you never really quit and you kept working, you got you got your money. I understand that some devs are uh, definitely passionate about the project. They surely want the project receiving well, doing better. 110 percent right like I, I get that right but at least you were getting paid right so i mean if you were working there for 10 years at, at least you were getting uh, some sort of work done uh, not necessarily but at least you were working not getting work done i mean 10 years like that uh, at least you were working and you were collecting checks though at least at least you know because normally whenever the project is out there and if the game is not received well then you get fired right chew or something like that which does happen Sadly, that's not all there is, because archived by VGC in the third quarter fiscal year 2024 earnings call, 
See your PC is struggling to run Twitch lol. What? Okay, my guy, watch. Uh, you know what? Take your take your no. Nah, put it put it at 720p then. Take your right hand, take your left hand, put it together and send a prayer out, okay? Everybody, we have a homie uh that uh, that says that his pc is struggling to run twitch that that'd be sad though i i mean yeah exactly my point exactly my point middle class is crying right now though these seconds as a brown man i demand for taxes to be lowered i demand our pay to be increased like the video if you agree okay like the video <laughs> if you agree and f these directors f these ceos that are making billions and billions and not paying z not and paying zero taxes though eo of f ubisoft eves guillemot decided to answer a question about skull and bones and his answer is just fucking incredible again people probably already heard this but I don't know. I have to read it directly here to preserve the atmosphere of okay. what this answer genuinely sounds like. We got the MBS music. You will see that Skull and Bones is a fully fledged game. It's a very big game, and we feel that people will really see how vast and complete the game is. It's a really full, triple, quadruple A game that will yeah. deliver in the long run. Okay, he really did say it's a really full, triple, hesitated, three dots thinking you know thinking about something creative and then he let that sucker out quadruple a game that will deliver in the long run deliver in the long run though and if the game does not make money up front forget about us delivering in the long run though <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah man this is this is insane okay for you gilmo for you, uh, more not mon frère, uh, what am I even saying? Like, I do speak the Francais, but like, and I believe Guillemot speak the Francais aussi. Kale, c'est tabernak, en way, c'est... Qu'est-ce que tu fais, mon gars? C'est pas un quadruple A game, bro. C'est même pas un triple A game. C'est one A game, bro. Even the even the indie games are better than your, your, <laughs> your skull and bones uh, quadruple A my ass, bro. End quote. Now, I don't know about you, but that does not sound like a genuine answer to me. Yeah, In my opinion, yeah, that sounds like yeah. a con man saying... This potion is definitely not snake oil. It's full of very real you know, oil that will later. completely exactly, cure whatever Jerry. ails you. Exactly. Three star, no, four star oil, the best oil. Everyone will see how great this oil is once they buy it. You Think really about need that. an upgrade. A game that is objectively worse, you can disagree. Oh, she realistic. Did you like Google translated that or you also speak the Francais? Agree on that, but you are wrong if you do. A game objectively worse than the title it was inspired by over 10 years ago. After facing six public delays and only coming out because Ubisoft accepted a bunch of subsidies from the Singapore government yeah. and had to launch it, no choice, no it's choice. being called quadruple A quality. That is the state of triple A gaming. It's not even triple A. One of the worst products in years is supposed to be beyond triple A. It costs them $200 million to make. That's crazy. But you simply cannot see where any of that money got spent. Like, if imagine, you imagine you were given like 200 million dollars <laughs> and you make this bro come on man like what's happening clearly the money is not being put to good use what is this life for uh for us bonding and me sending you mission you kishish my guy no homo by the way but Aryan, how you doing man we, we're just checking out what's happening in gaming we're talking we're bonding uh we're gonna be checking out ufo videos in a in a bit as well uh, and there's the next video that we're gonna that i, I want to show you stick around for that that's gonna definitely open up your third eye as well uh yeah well, we're just talking gaming and uh the the scene that and the situation that is unfolding in the gaming industry yeah this live shies is cool uh we oui, we oui, a carton oh uh, for real uh, oh, what am I saying? For real? Uh, for real, my friend. <laughs> I love the French, uh, the Francais accent. Yeah, Terran, exactly. But 200 million, though. Can man, let your players get that. You know what I mean? Like, spend that money wisely. Donate that money to your, your players that are torturing themselves playing your games. I think it would have been put to good use that way. <laughs> You look at a I game like Baldur's Gate 3, which got made with a smaller team, by the way, than Skull and Bones, on a budget significantly lower on top of that, you can see the vision and kind of feel the quality. Skull and Bones? I'm actually lost for words on how to describe just how empty the game actually is when you look at it through the lens of 10 years, 200 million, and quadruple A quality. Yeah, Go back and look at some of the trailers and the marketing material for this game from like six or seven years ago. It's on Yo, my shark, not you, man. Come on, man. No, you don't. You, come on, man. I just said that. What we doing here? And now you asking me that too? Oh. Uh, I love you, my shark. How you doing, brother? Yeah, I got you, brother. Gaming companies, uh, 
छोर कही के या ये ना इनकी ना सब ना मैं अभी बाहर जाता हूँ यहाँ पे ना बड़ी ठंडी पड़ रही है आरायन भाई मैं बाहर अभी गया ना तो मैं एक बड़ा वाला बांबू लाता हूँ इनकी गांड में घुसा के ना एकदम से फट जाता हूँ पैं छो सर Yo, what up, uh, Wetmig? Being a member for seven months, yo, thank you, thank you for the tunes. Uh, look, you're that good. I, I keep coming back. A big love from the UK. You Wetmig for UK. I appreciate you, man. How you doing, man? Welcome back to the streets, bro. How you doing, brother? Thank you for being a member for seven months. Thank you for the tunes. I uh, appreciate it, my guy. Um, let me show you some kishi right now. Let me full on homo, by the way. Full on homo. Okay? Uh, yeah, be wise with your money. Give it to your players. Exactly. Recognizable. Ubisoft spent thousands of days raking in the subsidies and consistently making the product worse over time. You as well? When you uh, compare to the simple? initial hype rep? cycle they cultivated at E3 in 2017 and 2018, when the marketing cycles were at their absolute apex peak, in my opinion. Only to then release a product for $70 that could never deserve that price point, while the Actually, CEO I calls agree. it Quad A. Quad I don't a. think there could possibly be a better example of corporate failure, mismanagement, and bad practices. As yeah, if, to be honest, like if this is quadruple A, then what GTA 6 is gonna be? Are they gonna call GTA 6 like Penta, Pentapple, or how do you say Pen? I believe it's Penta, right? Uh, okay, one, two, double, uh, triple, quadruple, Penta. Are they gonna call Penta, Penta A for GTA 6? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And charge suckers like $100 and you already know man suckers I've seen so many people guys okay emergency meeting real quick Okay, let me actually talk about this one because I'm seeing a lot of people talk about this Suckers are saying on the internet that they wouldn't mind paying a hundred dollars a hundred fifty for GTA 6 Bruh. Guys, I understand listen, okay? I know you know I know we all know if the game is good. It's GTA 6 even I would sadly Sadly would pay a hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? But don't tell them don't let them know don't let these suckers know if you tell that publicly to these uh, devs uh, not uh, I mean not the devs, but to the CEOs They're gonna up the prices dog Let's be smart out here. You know, let's keep it to ourselves, bro Let's not tell them like uh, the amount of people that I've seen like under like Rockstar Games uh, post uh, like official posts like uh, rumors whenever the rumors say that it's gonna be hundred dollars hundred fifty it's not gonna be let's be real it's gonna be seventy right uh, GTA six eighty I mean <sighs> come come on guys like don't tell them don't let them know though. They're, gonna, they're surely gonna up the prices, man. Come on, bro. Uh, Paul World kicked this game, but uh, Paul World, uh, Hell Divers, uh, Baldur's Gate, yeah. Uh, Sex Land, uh, Zeta, what a name, bro. Welcome, Slam, brother. Kaseo, Pajan, Kaseo, TikTok. How you doing, bro? Uh, if I'm playing that, if I'm paying that much, that game better be flawless when it starts, bro. It better, it better give me money for playing the game if it's gonna cost that much, you know? Bruh. If purpose built for me to make my case here, this comes directly on the heels of Suicide Squad Don't Kill the, the Justice guys. League immediately prior, Don't the pom -pom. which is a live service game from Rocksteady that looks objectively worse than a game that came out nine years before it. Holy crap, yeah. The funny thing is, I was being led to believe, I guess, visuals have improved dramatically over the past decade with better hardware, better game engines, etc, etc, but live service AAA products right now simply do not what? demonstrate that premise at all, even so far as to look downright bad compared to the games that man look at that like on the left this is like 2015 right she walking like all strong all independent on the right she's like uh can a can a brother perhaps uh change the gender you know Bruh. what i'm saying that's like how she walking it's not a she and no more it's a brother right now it's crazy like they just uh <laughs> uh wokeify the game and also more than just woke it's uh I don't think, yeah, I, I don't think this game has like too big of a wokey problem, but the devs clearly are kind of wokeish, right? Like everything woke turns to shit. And that's exactly what we're seeing happen all throughout the industry right now. The, the content is just not that good anymore. Tw how are you going to tell me 2015 game, you know, going to look better than 2024 game that's on PlayStation 5 and Series X? It's a meme. No, it's a meme. Uh, these companies, uh, these game companies are eligible to be politicians. That's how much uh, they lie. That came before them. I mean, not even just visual fidelity, but mechanically speaking, yeah. look at this and then tell me that a $200 million game with a decade long development cycle where literally none of this is possible, mechanically speaking, is a quadruple A experience worth $70. 
even accounting for inflation, that just doesn't track. Also, preemptively here, back in 2014, not. when Black Flag was being evaluated, sales were actually viewed as lackluster by investment companies. Surprise, surprise. But according to Motley Fool, the game cost roughly $100 million in terms of total development. That's half as much as Skull and Bones. This game cost two times as much, Bruh. has less gameplay features by a mile, and took 10 years. It is described as quadruple A by the company's CEO. And That's insane to me. Like $200 million that you spend that much and you put 10 years though. Now, I get it, like, not everything is gonna turn out to be, like, a 10 out of 10 masterpiece, and not everything needs to be a 10 out of 10, but, like, holy crap, though, like, uh, I could be wrong with this one, and but but I'm hearing, like, uh, that, you know what, like, instead of you, like, going on, uh, whenever you're trying to, like, rob uh, or pirate different ship, you get, like, a cutscene. I, I think that's probably, like, exaggeration from people, uh... Or maybe not. I I'm hearing that you guys can correct me, but if that's true, then holy crap. You know what I mean? Even if that's not true, like, obviously we're able to see the game. I'm able to see the game with my own eyes right now. And <laughs> 10 years, you spent, what, $200 million? This game doesn't look like that. Skull and Bones is a scam in itself. There, There's Mind's Eye, Plan B. Uh, what would you do if GTA 6 turns uh, woke? It's gonna be. GTA 6 is gonna be woke. Uh, but it's not gonna be crazy woke. Uh, I I and I guess, like... You also know this, all of us know this, that to a certain degree it will be, but that is the real life itself. GTA is like a depiction of real life, so you know what, they're gonna have everything. And listen man, uh, my problem is not the whole crap. The, the problem is whenever you actually force this bullshit down everybody's throat and you actually kill the fun of the game and kill the story when it could objectively been better off not being uh because they do that over vote crap you know they force that crap down when they know the story would have been 10 times better if it was not tampered with the vote crap they just want to do it for their own good they don't want to do it for their audience and the gamers uh they can make a good game and they can have like if you want to have woke crap in it okay sure have a little bit but like when your entire game is like filled with that i mean holy shit like what are we talking about you know, uh, skull, uh, skull and Bones is a scam. And like, look at Starfield, right? Starfield, we had uh, we had one of the biggest outrage from that uh, uh, heel versus yeah heel versus babyface. He went nuclear, uh, and he's faced a lot of criticism on that. Uh, but let's be real, like he was kind of right. I mean, think about it. Whether you're a fan of Starfield or not, uh, or you hate that game, or you love that game, but now you don't, or you love it now, or you don't, wh whatever. Okay, no matter where you are, but Starfield right now, let's be real, like. The characters don't look that good, though, you know? You might find the game good, and that's honestly uh, good that if you do, uh, nothing wrong with enjoying a game, but, like, uh, but, you know, like, it had it been that they really didn't try to wokeify that game, it would have been better. I can give you this example! You know, let's talk about uh, Spider-Man 2, you know? Like, uh, for the longest amount of time, you heard me say that. I like the game, minus the woke crap. Yo, MJ! Yo, what? They ruined MJ, dog. Yo, MJ didn't even look like MJ. It looked like a PJ, dog. Bruh. It looked like a bro, a bro fight. They bro fight MJ. And MJ looked very good in the first Spider-Man game, right? And holy shit, like, they changed MJ. Looks like that they have her on, like, 20 butt lights or something. And you hear the director say that, you know what? We're gonna make MJ strong. I don't care what anybody says. We're gonna make strong. Listen, man, you can make MJ strong. That's not the problem. We all want to have strong masculine character. We also want to have strong female character. We want to have strong female character. We don't want to have strong female characters acting like strong masculine character. There's a big difference. I want to see a baddie that's strong, okay? I would also take a baddie that's independent. But like, come on, man. Like, do not reverse the rules like that. Uh... Uh, Open, Killer you Z man, what's good? I see you on Twitch, man. Welcome on in, man. Nobody believes that trash except uh, shit posters on Twitter and corporations. Starfield, Lamau, and Redfield. Starfield broke my heart. Was uh, looking forward to it. Yes, yeah, Starfield was really, really exciting. Uh, uh, in the very beginning, a lot of people were defending. And if you, I, and in the very beginning, this was absolutely insane, though. If you just hesitated, like for example, right? If somebody was like, "Yo, man, uh, can a brother get your opinion on Starfield?" and you 
And if you did not say Starfield is a 10 out of 10, if you were like, ah, mm, eh, yeah, if you hesitated for like a second, Suckers would cancel you. Suckers would be like, yeah, bro, like you're you're a Sony pony, bro. You're a Sony pony, man. <laughs> MJ looked like a man. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, and she looked good in uh, uh, in Spider-Man 1. You guys could have uh, made her strong. I mean, uh, in my honest opinion, like I don't mind like MJ helping Peter, Spider-Man out. That's not the problem. She surely could have helped uh, his, his man out. You know what I'm saying? She could have definitely have like good and strong missions. That's not the problem. But it's like y'all suck is, you know, cut Peter nuts in the last mission in the ending. And you said if it wasn't for MJ, Spider-Man could have not last. Like what? That's crazy to me. That's insane. He's a superhero for God's sakes. You know, Spider-Man is a superhero. You made him like you like nerfed Spider-Man though. I once was a Sony pony, but then I went PC and never turned back. To, uh, in my opinion, it's perfectly fine being an Xbox fan or P uh, PlayStation or PC fan. Fan, and, and listen, man, uh, you can surely love a game. Uh, for example, like Starfield, right? You can surely love a lot of things about it, and you can surely hate it. But there are a lot of delusional fanboys that just don't want to see the other side. They just want to be in their bubble, and they just don't care uh, for it. They would defend it like uh, you insulted their mother. It's it's insane. Same goes for Sony ponies and Xbox, right? And same goes for the fanboys. Yeah, you and Xbox, uh, Xbox bro. Also, lol, go woke, uh, get woke, go broke, like, Saints Row. Saints Row, we all saw, man. Saints Row, honestly, bro, like, I wanted that game. If you, I'm not sure for how long you guys have been around, but, like, dog, if you have around, if you have been around for a second, okay, you heard me say that I hope Saints Row carry me till GTA 6. <laughs> my guy, it couldn't, it couldn't even carry us till the GTA 6 trailer, <laughs> my guy. They shut the studio down before we could even get the GTA 6 trailer. Like, holy crap. This game right here cost half the amount and took three years. It got started in 2011, then officially announced and released in 2013. Honestly, yeah. there's not much more to say here. We've all yeah. felt it for a while and there's no shortage of people saying it online. I'm just another voice in the horde of voices out there. But AAA video games have gone very far downhill over the past few years, or more so 10 years, ironically, considering the development timeline for Skull and Bones. These games aren't being made for the player base. They're yeah. being made, in the Investors. case of Skull and Bones at least, because a profit-motivated company intent on pleasing shareholders had a contract with a government allowing them to get undeserved subsidies in order to... It's never good to bring government in your matter, though. Pay it's workers never, it never is. Open it never studio. ends well. So they made something objectively worse than what it's inspired by from 10 years ago, and then yeah. they gaslit everyone by saying it wasn't just AAA, it was better than triple a normally this would f you can be a sony pony or an xbox but don't go crazy yeah christopher exactly my point as well like uh, it's okay to be a fan it's okay for the jokes and all that like listen we're here today gone tomorrow right who cares though at the end of the day both are plastics they both of them are corporations that really don't care about you it's one of those things that I, I feel like that if you're young like uh under 16 under the age of 16 then i get it right like at that point okay yeah sure i would be like uh, yeah go for it man be a sony pony be an x but that's fine i mean you're a young lad uh you don't have responsibilities and i wish i could be uh off your age right now i wish i could go back to that time life was simple man life was easy bro like as a 27 year old dude you got a lot more responsibilities you go you, you feel what i'm saying and it it's only gonna rise from here and same goes for you guys you got your own shit and your life that you're probably thinking about right now as i'm talking about like shit that i'm doing here so yeah we all got shit though we all got shit but it's just hilarious when grown ass men take it too serious like obviously like just the other day um you know right before the when we were getting rumors about like xbox games are gonna come on playstation we had a 38 year old man it was hilarious and not trying to dog on the guy and i'm not i'm dogging on his take more so than uh, you know attack the ideas not people that's the motto i live by but like 38 year old man probably blessed with five kids and that's a blessing that's a be that's beautiful right he started crying on camera because of a rumor a stupid rumor that said that xbox games are gonna come out on playstation Bruh. what are we talking about you 38 year old man if you were 16 okay yeah sure i understand uh cry all you want uh halo infinite has improved a little bit past year but not enough to redeem yes uh my mom lol so funny uh lol original good job okay uh facts my first console were xbox with the halo 
why is there a console war still going when there is no game to scream about yeah exactly right make like there's nothing like sony also kind of waved the white flag they said that woohoo we're not gonna have any uh, big first party title till like what like april of 2025 uh, after that they're probably gonna hell divers i don't think sony was anticipating that game doing good and it's amazing to see that game do good even though i'm not playing that game even though i have not bought it yet uh i look at it and i'm like shit man like uh, okay i mean i'm glad and i want to see more games uh kill it like that because then it's gonna be like such a and it's a slap it indeed is a slap to ubisoft with this skull and bones trash it indeed is a slap to suicide squad rocksteady right it indeed is a slap and listen rocksteady i'm i believe they are able to produce a banger they have in the past with batman arkham 2015 they have in the past don't tell me they can they have the blueprint i mean it's the creator they are the creator they surely can but i think it's like about the agenda like the the devs are i believe the people they're hiring right now they're not good for the job they're not good for the they should do something else that they're good at right uh and indiana jones right now we're hearing and indeed like the guy came on camera i'm not sure whether was he a director or just a dev no hate towards him nothing but love but it's like dog when you say we're making indiana jones for the modern day audience when you have a haircut like that i mean holy shit uh, Everybody went crazy after hearing that and rightfully so because they saw your haircut <laughs> and they heard you say and you had the rainbow flag in in the front nothing wrong with that you go ahead and be strong be independent do whatever right but like holy shit like <laughs> when you say you're making indiana jones for modern day audiences obviously people are gonna be nervous second's gonna be like oh so suicide squad uh they're gonna start connecting the dots the ptsd simulator is gonna be like ee, ee, you know what i'm saying like it's they're gonna start connecting the dots they're gonna be like okay you know in the past how many woke crafts we had uh suicide squad recently uh, this game that game this you know what i'm saying like so they're automatically gonna assume the worst for it even though indiana jones uh, from the first look it looks kind of odd it doesn't look amazing it doesn't look like it's trash to me personally as somebody who's likely not gonna buy it Bruh. it looks all right you know but if it exceeds my expectations i might get it then so far it's not they didn't put too much time to this game because next year 2025 they're gonna have black flag remaster they're gonna have like a they probably have a different i see where you're coming from jason but they probably have a different department working on that it's not even the same people uh so they have different departments right sony ponies and xbox crying make the best content it does i, I do agree like the, the crying like that 38 year old man that was crying on camera like he gave a lot of people a laugh he did cure a lot of people depression for the time being that i absolutely agree with anyone or anything that goes woke should be canceled i'm, I'm not i'm not for canceling even the woke shit i'm just like hey d just make the best thing you can um uh, and don't force shit down people's throat like let i mean games it's games right like yeah come on man like uh, don't, don't don't put like identity politics in the games feel like shouting the obvious thing from the rooftop for no reason but this time it kind of feels like a tipping point yeah some of the fanboys will still delude themselves into thinking this is all fine but i can't help but feel like this has gotten so obvious lately and so egregious that the profit levers yeah, will actually yeah. start to move. Example that everyone should be happy about, I think, at least in my opinion, there are now more people playing Arkham Knight, Damn. a game from nine years ago made by Rocksteady, same developers of Suicide Squad Killing Damn. Justice League, by a pretty hefty margin than there are playing Suicide Squad oh, on shit. Steam. Oh, That's a live service AAA game from a couple weeks ago designed to Holy capture crap. players for an extended period of time. That's the entire business model being outperformed significantly by a nine-year-old single-player experience Man. from the same company because it's a bad- I guess it's time for- for some clown horn right there for these suckers out here. Right back at you, Veronica. Appreciate the love. Uh, thank you all for liking and subscribing. Appreciate it, guys. Today, we're going to be placing Safe's girlfriend to the test. The test is going to be taking place here at this beautiful and expensive home in Hollywood Hills. Safe's job is going to be to bring his- I mean, what do you expect? Like, if you're in Hollywood, dog, like, why do you expect your partner to be loyal? Girlfriend's here, and Dion's job will be to test her loyalty. Say, oh, do no. you think your girlfriend's gonna stay loyal? Do you think she'll <sighs> trade you for a guy who makes more money? Probably. I don't think so. She doesn't show me any red flags, uh -huh. but, you know, like I... He, okay, right now he's, like, uh, in, like, ah, ee, she's not gonna, she's not gonna um, cheat on me, but like, wait for it, man. Money changes people, though. I said, you don't know. Out here in LA, it's crazy. <laughs> I feel it. Well, how you about we give her a call, make sure that yeah, she's still down to come over? Yeah, let's do it. 
To get his girlfriend here, Safe convinced her that he entered Dion's giveaway and won. I just wanted to give I back some of the love that Skittles. you guys have been showing me lately by doing a contest, giving away $10,000. All you have to do... Since Safe supposedly won, he now has to pick up his money from Dion's home and he's... All you have to do is smash that like button. I want to visit Hollywood so bad. I've been to Hollywood uh, area once. Uh, that was, I believe, in 2017, 2016, something like that. I've been... But I... I just saw it from afar. I was in a car, we just drove around, there were a lot of people, so we could not park the car and get out and, and see it. We watched it from afar, kind of. Asked but his girlfriend to accompany good him. Good place. Okay place, I should say. Hello. Not good, but Hey, okay babe, place. how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Are you still good to go with me to get the prize money today? Yeah, yeah, I'm still down. Okay, nice. Are you almost ready? I'll be there in like about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, that sounds uh -huh. good. Cool. Okay, awesome. See you She'll soon. be ready. Right, she didn't see this coming. Of course, the giveaway is not real, and Dion doesn't really live here. It's all no. just a ploy to get Jazz. It's like those uh, YouTubers type of giveaways, Bruh. right? Uh, full on disclosure, I've done like like fifty dollars, hundred dollar giveaways in the past, and they were hundred percent real. Because whenever I do giveaways, I announce the winners on Twitter. Okay, uh, so but but ten thousand dollars. Unless you are like, even if you're Logan Paul, my guy, like, I don't even think Logan Paul would actually give away 10,000. <laughs> okay, no, I don't want to crap on the guy. I believe, uh, there probably at times he must have given away, like, for real, for real, but who knows, right? Who knows? 10 grand, guys. If if there's a YouTuber that says that he's gonna give away 10 grand, don't believe that. Unless they're like very, very big and, and they have the money, then okay, at that point, probably. But if I come out tomorrow and I tell you that I'm gonna give you like 10 grand, don't believe me. Don't believe me! I cannot even afford a pencil out here! I used to do like $50, $100 giveaways like every month. I, and I stopped. I cannot afford a pencil out here. What do you want me to do right now, bro? You know what I'm saying? I love you, but like, come on, man! I cannot afford to give away $100 right now, man. Unless they're, they're Mr. Beast, yeah. Yo, Mr. E, what's good, man? How you doing? I've been here so that she could be tested. Why did you want to set up this test? I gotta make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel you. <laughs> so you just want to do it? I appreciate you, Veronica. Yeah, I feel Thank it. you. I feel it. I have enough homies that got done bad <laughs> to, to know, you yeah. know? No, it's Especially very out here in LA, you know? Yeah. I'm new to LA, so this is all kind of crazy. Mm, got you, got you, got no, you, got you. Yeah. How long have you been here in LA for? Uh, about like a year. Okay. Definitely more common than you think, so. Mm -hmm. It can never be too sure. I'll, you know, I wish you the best. Okay, so he's a new cat. Yeah, he says, I will. W I wish you the best. Because he he saw it. He just saw it. Like, one year, that's like rookie numbers. He's a new, a new cat on the block. My wife left me four months ago. Oh, my God. Guys, uh, can I get some hearts in the chat right now? My guy, it's going to be all right, okay? Whatever the reason was, it's going to be all right. You're going to find a new wife, okay? You're going to find a new wife. F them hoes, bro. You deserve better. All right, simple as that, brother. Simple as that. Everybody, take your right hand, take your left hand, send a prayer out of brother way, man. You know, she was not the one, dog. She was not the one. Okay, let's lighten up your mood right now. The best, yeah. man. Hope yeah. you still Try your, your best. girl, man. Try your best. <laughs> <laughs> but better knowing now than later. Yeah. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna send Safe up in the elevator. This is crazy. This is what your girlfriend's gonna experience. Safe recently moved here to pursue modeling and entertainment, so I don't blame him for just being curious and wanting to know if his girlfriend would trade him for another guy yeah. who has more money. I don't want to say you can't find love in LA, but it definitely doesn't have the best dating scene. Everybody knows. Insane. Everybody knows. That was insane. This was originally where Dion was going to be making his move. Yeah. But it's freaking raining. What I'm thinking, though, is that you're going to still bring her up in the elevator here, and then you'll go back down, and then that's when you'll make your move. Are we both going to be oh, in the elevator? She... I don't think both of you guys fit. But you can try it. <laughs> I Damn. Mean, it's safe. <laughs> keep your head. Yeah, he already, like, oh my God. He's, like, already try uh, witnessing his future right now. Oh, no. Mr. Steal Your Girl, come on, man. Uh, you, you deserve better, bro. She's the one that lost. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. But if you're trying to find love in Los Angeles, bro, like, come on, man. Suck up, please. Everybody's like Cloud Goblin there. Everybody's like so demonic. No, I wouldn't say everybody. There are a lot of good people there. 100%. There's got to be a lot of good people. Good people exist everywhere. Bad people also exist everywhere. It doesn't mean that, um, for example, I'm not sure what's the what's the country with the least amount of people cheating. Or uh, There's got to be at least one country on the planet where the cheating percentages are very, very low, right? Even there, you know what? People still cheat. So it's like, you know, bad apples can be found everywhere. So it doesn't mean that good people don't exist. Good, good people surely do exist, but it's like it, life is all about like the odds, right? The probability factors. You want to up your chances. You want to put your best foot forward. Why do they always say put your best fo foot forward? If 
you want to put your best foot forward and you find you want to find a waifu, do not find her in Los Angeles. Do not find her in Los Angeles. It's yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the rain's not. My sister cheats a lot. Bomba cut. Oh my god. What, what kind of brother are you? You you telling you snitching on your sister right now? You're Christopher. Okay, I don't want to be judging you, but like, uh, but like, tell your sister to cheat less. Okay, well, how about that? Bruh. Yeah, tell your sister to cheat less because here's the thing: if you tell her to not cheat, she's not gonna listen to you. She's gonna be like, "Now, nah, bro, I'ma cheat. I'ma be strong. I'ma be independent." Tell her to cheat less, so you know when she lowers the frequency down. Then you tell her, uh, you know what, let's be, let's turn down a notch, uh, do less, 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 and then stop cheating. Simple as that, okay? It's not a bad <laughs> omen for me. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be a sad day. Oh, man. <laughs> I wish you the best, I man. Not. I wish you the best. I'll take your mic. Oh, yeah. Text and me like when you're 10 best. minutes out. If you get second traffic or you're running a little bit late, that's all good. Just text me. Let me know. But safe on his way to retrieve his girlfriend, all that was left to do was set everything up, go over the plan one last time, and just oh, wait no. for safe to text us that he was 10 minutes out. Ow, ow, ow. Oh crap! Everything okay, was set up and ready to go. We waited for about another hour or so before Safe finally texted me that he was coming up the hill. That's so freaking cool. <laughs> so I hope he leaves with his girl, yeah, honestly, because it's really fast out here in LA. So you know, it's it been several fast. times I've brought women back and they had boyfriends or yeah, and they've had boyfriends. Yeah, you just never know, man. It's what just, kind of what kind of women are you dating? They try to be sneaky, bro? man. It's sneaky out here. So like all it takes yeah. is a DM these days or if you see something. Yeah, brother brother got experience. I can tell brother got experience. Like I don't have that kind of experience because I'm a very traditional man, but like uh, that brother, he got game. I can tell just by just by looking at him. He got game. Simple as that. He got experience, he's throwing numbers out there, not out of his ass. He he is talking from knowledge and experience. Brother knows, like it's Los Angeles though. I'm at a club and you're going back, LA, you know. The clubs are really just for scouting. After that, you know, you bring them back to your place and. You know. Someone calling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, brother, brother got game. He got experience. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Dan, I think we're here. Oh, okay, great. I'm just about finishing up some business on my side. Just gonna have my assistant come out and get you. Okay, mate. Thank you. Okay, cool. See you soon. Oh shit. Okay, so realistic on Twitch says that the country that ranked the highest on our list of ten least. Adulterous countries in the world is Turkey. According to the survey, 94% of people in Turkey find cheating to be immoral and unacceptable. If the numbers are correct, it means that Turkish people are very loyal and faithful in relationship. Uh, I mean, makes sense. It, it makes sense because, uh, you know, they, they th those people believe in God. I, I want to marry a chick that actually respects her father. I want to marry a chick that uh, respects her mom and uh, that loves his family. I want to marry a chick that puts her family first before me. Because that tells me that she is loyal. And because if... I of course, I want her to love me. I want to love her, right? But, you know, if she does not respect her father, if she does not respect her mother, like... And doesn't treat their family right. Like she's not gonna treat me right too. If the, if she puts her family first, and if she believes in God, then it, it doesn't mean that, she, that that's like a hundred percent match. Even then, but like I said, it's all about probabilities and putting your best foot forward, right? So you want to find like a chick that actually respects the family, believes in God, and got good moral values, and uh, then you hope for the best. Then you be, then you treat her right. Then you treat her right, and she will treat you right and it's a match and uh, then hope for the best arrange marriages last longer than love marriage it depends sometimes love marriages l can last longer uh, i guess it's all about balance you know you want to find a partner that you like uh and if you're i'm a traditional man so you know what like uh, i want to find a partner for me personally i want to find a partner that i like that likes me back and that my that my family likes as well and when my mother gives me a green light i'm like okay you know what i mean because my mother got wisdom i love my mother she's uh she gave me advice and uh she's never been wrong with the with the crap she teaches me so i'm like uh yeah absolutely so when i when i like somebody they like me back and my parents like them I guess that's uh, then we go and if she the the, the chick <laughs> respects her family and believes in God and got good good values I mean that's a match that's a match simple as that easy not that hard okay there we are Deanna's gone into another bedroom to hide and Ken is going downstairs to retrieve the couple hi safe that doesn't exist hi, anymore hi nice to meet you it does I'm but Deanna's it's hard assistant. 
Nice to meet you. Um, oh, Jasmine, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm a mama's boy. I'm a, I'm a mama's boy. I'm, a, I'm proud to be a mama's boy, man. Nice to meet you. Are you want to come on in? Do you guys mind wiping your feet on the towel really quick? Yeah, of course. I know it's been raining all day. Yeah, no. Wipe your feet before Ken you step in. Ken is instrumental to our plan. When the time is right, he will be helping Safe make up his excuse to leave his girlfriend by herself. This is nice. Yeah, it's... Miss view is crazy. Yeah, Mr. Dion really picked a nice, uh, a nice view. This is insane. Would you like anything? Chips, water, we have some snacks over there. Uh, I would like some uh, Cheetos. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Are, are you can sure I, I can get, get some... you guys anything at all? Mr. Dion is a little bit busy on a phone call right now. He busy. So, were you the one that entered the giveaway? No, not me. Yeah, so I... Oh, so you won the giveaway? Yeah. Okay, but you at least entered, correct? No, I actually didn't know about it. You didn't tell her about the giveaway? I, I mentioned it a couple times, I think, and for like... There wasn't like, time, you know? <laughs> he, he's hosting, Mr. Dion is always hosting tons of giveaways. You always enter another one. You, you definitely should enter one. Mm, I agree. Why are you calling I him agree. Mr. Dion? Why can't he just say Dion? Dion, not Dion. Okay, but you at least, like, know about the story, right? Come on, Chad, realistic. Come on, Brad. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't know anything about Mr. Dion's story whatsoever. It's the most viral story on the internet right now. Before helping Safe make up his excuse to leave, Ken will tell Jasmine how Dion supposedly got rich. About a year and a half ago, uh, he was on his way home from his job at Chipotle. On his way home, he was struck by an 18-wheeler semi-truck. Oh my god. And it was it was a horrific accident. His car was totaled and he was in the hospital. Yeah, so he's like playing that card. Like, okay, he played the money card, he played the attention and fame card, and now he's like getting into the storytelling right now where he's trying to uh, pull the emotional plugs, you know what I'm saying? Like he's trying to flip the emotional plugs right now, you know? Hospital for two and a half months. Uh, after this one, I got yeah, you. It was, it was really, really bad. Fortunately, he was able to fully recover and he lawyered up, sued the company, and they found out that not only was the trucking company negligent, but also that the driver was drinking and he was on a bunch of narcotics. Man, everything, that. you know. They won the settlement and the judge awarded him $3.2 million. Wow. So again, are you please pretending to have just settled a million dollar case after getting into a car accident? Now this scenario might seem unrealistic. To okay, do you guys think that she will fold? One, if you believe she's gonna fold. Two, if you think she will not. Cause uh, I mean, Los Angeles and you're a chick, <laughs> you hear about $3.2 million? Shit, man, I'm assuming she's gonna fold. I think she's gonna fold, but uh, there have been very few videos where UD, in UDY, uh, we're checking out UDY, shout out to UDY. Uh, there have been very, in very few videos, the partner would not cheat, but I'm assuming she will fold. Okay, you guys are dropping one, 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 one. Okay, she a snake, she will fold. Uh, okay, she folded, all right, let's to see. some people, but it actually isn't. If you're ever seriously hurt or in an accident, your case could actually be worth millions. Unfortunately though, many people never file a claim or end up getting lowballed by insurance companies. Yeah, that actually happened to me. I got hurt at work and never sued, bro. What, why not? I didn't want to sue my boss. You're not suing your boss, you're suing the insurance company. Oh. Next time, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. If you're ever hurt or in an accident, ah! Morgan & Morgan will- Yo, I, okay, I've done Morgan & Morgan ads before. Okay, that's good to know. Honestly, that's good to know. Because uh, uh, that's some knowledge, guys. That's some knowledge. Like the video if you got some knowledge. Yeah, I, I've done, like, sponsor with Morgan & Morgan, too, in the past. <laughs> Okay, that was smooth, bro. Like, the way he did it, uh, I did not see that coming. Yo, Zayden, what's good, man? Start your claim today. You can check out Morgan & Morgan. Okay. The, the great thing about Mr. Dion is that he is such a giving person. He's been doing nothing but giving back to the America. community with, uh, with a huge portion of his settlement. He's been doing these $10,000 giveaways. I think he gave away a Tesla last yeah, week. Yeah, I saw the one with the car, yeah. Right, right. On top yeah, of that, you saw he that, huh? is documenting his whole story from the recovery process to uh, the foundation that he founded to doing these giveaways. And that's actually who he's on the phone with right now is a big producer from uh, from Netflix, actually. Wow. Oh. Yes, a huge, oh. huge executive producer. Okay, I don't like that. Oh, she did. She, the way she said, oh, it's Joe over. And brother acting like that's like new information to him right now. But I do agree that in America, people get sued for literally farting in the wrong direction. That's a fact. But like, I mean, brother gotta get that Benji's, you know? If a brother gotta get Benji's, brother gotta get Benji's, oh. We're making this big documentary and that's actually why we wanted you to come in today, Safe. To not only receive the check in person, but also be on camera for the documentary as well, yes. I'm gonna be on Netflix. <laughs> Well, since this is uh, this is one of the larger giveaways, you're going to be one of the bigger portions of the uh, of the film, actually. What? Dude, who else is on, on the documentary? Other giveaway contestants. Well, yes. What kind of things are you going to be asking? Me? Just things in relation to you know how you heard about the giveaway, where you might be spending that money, how it might improve your life, what do you think about his story? And are you guys going to be filming that today? 
we, we are going to be filming it today. Is that something that you might be interested in? I would love to. Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I don't know. Right now, I'm kind of suspect. So we're eight minutes in, uh, and he's like describing like what we're going to do for you. This is what... Uh, not saying what we're gonna do for you, but but that's essentially what he's trying to. He's trying to sell demand. He's advertising demand to her, right? So and test out whether she's gonna cheat or not. We're eight minutes in, and the video is like twenty minutes, right? So twelve minutes left. Uh, climax gotta be coming up soon. Wait, let me check in on Mr. Dion. I'll be right back. Okay. Ken has okay, been laying yeah. down plot, the foundation plot, plot. for Safe's excuse. He pretends to check in on Dion upstairs only to make his way back downstairs moments later. Mr. Dion is still gonna be on the phone for a little bit longer, but we could do the interview, like literally right now. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, if she folds, just because like, we're eight minutes in and this is like their first time talking and this is the first time they're advertising the man that he got that much money, he got that much fame. If she folds, then holy crap, just over like, just over one conversation, if you fold, that's just, that's insane to me, like holy shit. Okay, maybe like, you know, you go on for months and months and then you talk back and forth, then you fold. Okay, makes sense or not, doesn't make sense and cheating is bad, 100%. But like, you you understand what I'm trying to say here, right? Just off of like this first discussion, if you fold, then I mean, yeah, trust no one, I agree. But you understand what I'm trying to say here, right? Because like, this is the first time you meet, you haven't even met the guy. Uh, so you're about to meet the guy knowing he has the money. And then if you fold, then it's like, what are we talking, man? It's Let's go. it's really Actually, hard, bro. Actually, um, would you mind staying here um, just as we do in the, the interview? She can't come with us. It's literally just a chair in a room with lights and a camera. There's literally no, nowhere to sit down. But it's, it's only going to be like 15 minutes, and we'll be right back outside. Are you cool staying here? Yeah, uh, I'm a single child. I, I did find, uh, I, I did try uh, in high school. Uh, there were... Uh, I was rejected three times. Bruh. Not afraid to say that I was young and dumb. Man. At least I tried. There are a lot of kids that, that never try. I tried, rejected three times. And now I'm like so busy, I, I'm not even trying no more. Uh, I will eventually try like in... The goal is like at 30 years old. Uh, I'm 27, just doing me right now. Uh, but yeah, man, obviously I had crush on like chicks in the past and <laughs> they turned me down. <laughs> they turned me down. And it's okay. Like I'm over them. Uh, but yeah, like I... Uh, they broke my heart, you know me. They broke my, you know how that is in high school, so yeah. But right now I'm a single chat, never been cheated on. Uh, and <laughs> I, I my, my homie in the real life, he got cheated on not long ago, so he's giving me like uh, uh, his side of the story. I'm accumulating information, I got wealth of knowledge right now, and by the time I'm 30, I'll have that knowledge, uh, and then I'll try to begin my journey, man. I know that's like, especially in the West, I, I also am fully aware some of you are probably like schizo, like if you're gonna start dating at 30, bro, like. Uh, it's Joe over for you, bro. You're gonna get cheated on. You're not gonna be able to have that game because uh, 30, that's too old. I understand where you're coming from, but dog, like, like I rather uh, get my priorities uh, right and, uh, you know, become someone and, uh, and be uh, financially stable than, like, uh, hooking up right now, doing the haram and uh, accumulating sin sense right now and, and wasting my money and energy right you you feel what i'm saying like because dating is not e cheap though it's not cheap you know it's not cheap you gotta buy like you know the chick's not gonna buy anything you gotta be the one to buy and understandably that's how it works but uh 30s are your prime bro that ain't true at all but that's what you hear though okay i mean looks like mr e you got uh either you're trying to glaze or <laughs> or you also kind of like in the same boat as me so you're trying to give me that coping but what i heard is that like 30s is uh, truly when you find uh like i guess loyal partner you feel what I'm saying? But I don't want to find a partner that's ran through too, though. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, it is my birthday. Zayden, happy birthday, you. You know what I mean? Happy birthday to you, man. Happy birthday. Men gain value with age, bruh. It, it, true, but like, I don't... Yeah, like, when I'm 30, I don't want to find, like, a chick that's, like, 30 either. I want to find a little bit younger, though. Like, 25-ish, kind of somewhere around that. Uh, because, like, if, if you find a chick that's 30, bro, like, she ran through. Like, let's be real, bro. In the West... 100, 110%. 110. 30s for real prime for men. Uh, 20s are prime, bro. 20s, I would say 30s are more like uh, you looking for serious, a uh, serious partner, and that's the type of guy I am. Like, when I want to date, like, I want to find, like, somebody, like, for real. I don't want to play no games, okay? I don't want to waste my energy. I don't want to waste my money. I'm way past that, right? So I'm that type of guy. 
20s, I feel like that if you are... 20s is like the hookup culture, right? Like, that's like, you're high on the emotions and everything is all la-la land and all that. Uh, you, you can gain knowledge and wisdom and experience for sure. But, and you do, you do. In 20s, you do. In do, you do. But I'm not that type of guy. I'm like, I, I want, like, join the pass passport bro company, lol. Uh, you want them emotional debt. And, like, listen, man, everybody's getting cheated on left and right. So it's kind of hard for a brother out here. I don't know, guys. Uh, we age like a wine, females age like cheese, uh, men gay. <laughs> uh, I mean, listen, man, it's really, really tough finding in this day and age, especially in the West, bro. This is one of the biggest factor why I'm not, like, why I'm a single Chad right now. One of the biggest facts. Sure, like, I want to get my priorities straight. I want to be uh, financially stable. I don't want to waste my energy. I don't want to waste my money. Yeah, sure, that's like a factor, big factor. But the major factor why I'm a single Chad right now is because, like, I... Like, there's so many cases I'm hearing, like, that guy got cheated on, this guy, that guy, my homie, my homie lives 30 seconds from me, okay, I can go outside, run to his crib right now, he got cheated on, you know what I'm saying, like, he was with, mad in love with a girl, uh, and uh, she cheated on with a BBC, I'm not, yeah, I meme, I joke around a lot, but this is a fact, you know what I'm saying? This is a fact, so go to church, absolutely, 100%. Rather than that, I'm a Muslim, so uh, I can go to the church and the mosque as well, because uh, there are a lot of similarities, and that I, I yeah, absolutely, i rather go there, i rather be, a, <laughs> I'm a traditional man, you know, like I'm saying, repent now, guys, repent now, man, that's all I gotta say. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you. Okay. okay. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go this way. Yeah, what I was saying was like, my guy, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. His chick cheated on my homie with a BBC. Yeah. And just like that, we have Jasmine by herself. Yo, Kimmy, what's good, man? Kimmy laughing and chat. How is everything good? Good, good, good. She's suspicious at all. No, no, no. no. She no. believes it. Yeah. Yo, find her. <laughs> I'm that cool guy. Minute. I appreciate yeah. you, man. Oh, Thank you. Let's see how she does here. Hopefully, she does good. Hopefully. I know. I know. <laughs> remember, all, remember, all he's going to do right now is ask for a number and offer to take her out. Hopefully, she doesn't give it to him. Yeah. Because then we can't move on to phase two or phase three. So. Dog, if she does, like, it's over. This is like first time them meeting, right? She heard that she ha uh, he has like 3.2 million dollars, I believe. Yeah? Yeah, right? But if she does not, hey, what's up? she a keeper. My know? apologies about that long call in there. I don't believe yeah. I talked to you on the phone. Are you the lucky winner? No, no, it's not me. It's actually my boyfriend. Oh, okay. okay that, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. So she acknowledges uh, she has a hubby or wanna be hubby. Yeah, become a monk. Hey, where is he? He's, uh, he went with your assistant. They said they were going to go to the Oh, the interview, damn. They're gonna do that right now? That's what they said. I think because they're waiting, so I think they just went to do it. Oh, okay. That's gonna take like 20 to 30 minutes, honestly. I mean, all right, well, sorry about that long call. It's still really nice to meet you. What was your name? Oh, my name's Jasmine. Okay, Dion, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Damn, he got yeah, game. Uh, would you like game. anything? I have water, Gatorade. Okay. You could help yourself. Okay, I just grabbed something, so. Good, she said boyfriend. Jasmine was off to a great start, but her test had only just begun. After taking a seat and making some small conversation with her, it was time for Dion to move things along. Like I said, we have like 20, 30 minutes to kill. You want to see the top floor of the house? Oh, yeah, mm. sure. All right. Okay. Yeah, come on, let's go. Okay, like I know a lot of people would like, oh, she's cheating, bro. She not. Nah, that doesn't mean she's cheating. I mean, listen, they got 30 minutes to kill and uh, she's going to see the crib. <laughs> but I ho hopefully uh, she doesn't want to see the BBC after, you know what I'm saying? Because oh <laughs> if she sees the crib and she likes it, she might. The next thing is that she might want to see the BBC and hopefully she doesn't go that route. Uh, I'm getting, okay, right now I'm kind of, I don't know why, but I'm kind of feeling like that she's not going to cheat. Damn, he went right into it. You ever been in one of these before? Or maybe they're not trying hard because like, listen, man, like on a first encounter, on a first, this is the first time she's finding out like, yeah, you know, like she doesn't know you that much. So is she really? <laughs> no, yeah, it's a custom elevator. Just had it put in. This is insane. Yeah, after you. Oh, it's over. Oh, no. It's over. It's over. <laughs> oh, it's he over. better keep it's his over. hands to himself. That is a tight elevator. <laughs> Stop it. Are we gonna break this? You imagine living oh, in a place no, where you got man. like 
It's usually a one person elevator. I am surprised they went in. Man, it. this must be a really good uh, area. Or I believe it's a mansion, right? I could be wrong. Uh, if you have like elevator in your mansion, man, holy shit, you live in the dream. Uh, usually you're like, what? Uh, you're 36 and you pull typically pull girls that are about 25. For some reason, I always tend to like guys older than me. There is a saying, there was a study done that I heard that, yeah, young chicks prefer older men because older men, for the most time, they have experience, they have the money, and uh, they, they're not childish in nature, right? Because the boys, like, there's, a, you know, also studies and it's a fact that girls mature faster than guys. Uh, it takes a while for the guys to be mature. So this is why I feel like this is one of the factor why younger girls uh like older dudes uh, like the guy said 30 he's 36 but he typically pulls 25 and you're a chick so you're saying that you're kind of watching for him right there i believe that's uh yeah i guess uh it'd be what it'd be i guess biology i don't know together no nah, there's way too many floors what up silver <laughs> well definitely a first oh, <laughs> for sure area kind of good yo what up jerry welcome on in oh my goodness what do you uh, think about the pool? She likes it. Oh, I love when the pools are like rectangular. I love when the pools are like that. It's heated. It's really nice. Is it heated? Okay, he panicking right now. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. He panicking right now. He's sweating yeah, the hole. Yeah, I had it actually put in along with the jacuzzi right there. It's real small, but it's really it's nice. Yeah, definitely in the summer when it gets warmer. Yeah. Definitely plan on having a ton of pool parties and stuff. And then of course the view. Can't it's, beat the view up here at all. Killer. It's a killer. Okay, so far so smooth. I like her uh, arms being crossed. That's true. Body language just says a lot. Exactly, exactly. Or maybe she's just cold. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just overthinking it. <laughs> you gotta, I, I don't think like chicks truly understand what a man goes through though. Like they be like looking at everything. Like brother like literally just <laughs> calling out the body language. Yo, she crossing her arm. That's a good, that's a good sign. The other guy like, maybe she's just cold, dog. Maybe that's what it is, which is a fact though. But the point here is that you psychoanalyze when you're in a situation like that because I know my brother who, uh, my, my homeboy, and I call him my brother, right? My homeboy that I was talking about, I got cheated on with a, yeah, right? Like he also psychoanalyzed. He psychoanalyzed though. You know, I feel like that whenever you're in a relationship, you si you start to psychoanalyze. I don't know why. You shouldn't. It should not be that way, but That's but I guess I don't know. You can see most of Los Angeles up here. Definitely a key selling point for me. Women are unpredictable. Uh, they are. Yeah. No, I came up here and I was hooked. Along with, of course, all of the floors. Yeah. Do yeah. you live here by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely still breaking it in myself, but yeah. I love it so far. If it wasn't so foggy, you could see downtown Los Angeles and everything. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like a lot of girls would fold right here. You feel like a lot of girls would fold here? Yeah. If I had okay, yeah, makes sense that they would fold, but like on a first encounter, nah, bro. Like, okay, so far, I think she will not fold because like this is the first time. But if she does, holy crap, then my, my red flags would go even far. Then I would be like, okay, you know what? I want to start dating when I'm 30. Then I would be like, okay, you know what? Let's wait till 35. Bruh. You feel what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, please don't cheat. This is the first time. Okay, if, sure. If this was like on the fourth, fifth encounter, all right. You should not, but all right. Okay, it would kind of make sense. At a pool and a jacuzzi in that view, I feel like I could get any girl. <laughs> nah, what would no, you do like, at a house like this, honestly? Whatever happened to the character, though? Whatever happened to your character, your personality, and you being like a Chad, right? Like, yeah, material stuff, to a certain degree, is important. Money's important. Yeah, 100% it is. But, like, at the end of the day, man, like, it's not just about the money, though, you know? It is important. I'm gonna be the last guy to say that money is not important, you know? Being rich is bad. Nah, bro, being rich is cool. Uh, money just uh, exposes who you truly are when you have a lot of it, right? It just truly exposes that. But, and money is also good, because when you have money, you can create jobs. You can um, uh, take care of your family, your future hubby, wife, whatever, right? Your uh, your kids, uh, your circle around it. It's beautiful that way, right? Money is important, 100%. But, like, that should not be the only factor of you choosing your partner though like you only live once right like you you're you're here today gone tomorrow though so if that's the only factor then man that would be a miserable that's one miserable way to live agree disagree where are you guys at and i'm fully on i'm full on believer that money is important but oh gosh i don't even know 
definitely feel like this house needs, you know, a woman's touch, but uh, yeah. Dion spent some time talking to Jasmine upstairs. In our original plan, this was where he was actually supposed to be making his move. However, because of yeah, the rain, we chilling. decided that it was best for him to make his move downstairs. So after some time, he eventually brought her back inside. This is it, safe. This is it. All right. Uh, uh, for me, character and personality matter a lot. And on a second thought, though, now that I give it a second uh, chance and now I'm uh, hearing that from you, I think... Uh, for a guy, that's true. And obviously, I'm a guy, so I'm thinking like a guy, because I'm a guy, right? Yeah, for a guy, uh, I you want to be with a chick that's... The personality and the character and the values are good. You don't care about how much money a chick has. That's true. But a chick thinks differently. She wants security, and that's all right. I mean, that's not nothing wrong with that. Like, if you're a chick and you want a guy to have money, I mean, who doesn't want that? That's not bad. But if that's, like, the only factor, that's bad. You know, you better think like a guy. I mean, I better. I mean, I am. So now on a second thought, yeah, I'm thinking obviously like that's a, that's a guy's, guy's take. You want a chick, you don't care about her money. You care about her personality and her values and that's it. The character. Get traditional. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. And that's the goal. Uh, I'm Pakistani, so I'm looking for Pakistani as well, personally. Because I want to find somebody in my own lane, right? Because you speak the same language, the memes would hit, <laughs> hit the same. Uh, they would hit different, uh, but different means. It would hit good. The language, uh, the values, uh, you know, yeah, for the most part. For the most part. Same, bro? Yeah, no. I honestly couldn't pay her enough. This place is beautiful, so. What about the paintings? Did you pick these out yourself? Uh, yeah, some of them I did. This one I definitely uh, bought for 10000 After making some more small talk with Jasmine, Dion eventually moves things along. You're giving me ideas for what I want my home to look like. Could you see yourself living here at all? Oh, yeah, if I could afford it. <laughs> Ow! Here we go. Honestly, oh, I feel sweating. like the accident really taught me that anytime, you know, life can be taken away from you. So, yeah. definitely feel like doubling down on this house, no-brainer, you know? Like I said, life's short, right? So, yeah. you gotta live it up to the max. Honestly, thinking about actually giving away a Tesla. A Tesla? Yeah, you like Teslas? I love Teslas, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a Tesla would look good on oh, you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah? yeah he must yeah, be sweating. For sure, for sure. <laughs> this Okay, like, honestly, that's not a sign that she will cheat, but, uh, I mean, listen, if I was in brother's shoes, I would be, <laughs> now, honestly, I would not be pan, I don't know, honestly, I don't know, maybe I would be, maybe I wouldn't be, but I wouldn't want to panic, because if I find a partner, I would find a chick that doesn't give me red flags, and if I get red flags, I'm out, you know what I mean? And if I'm not getting red flags, I would trust her completely. But I wouldn't be blind though. Like, for example, right? Like, <laughs> we were talking about this Logan Paul thing, right? <laughs> the Logan Paul fiance has been like, y you guys know what happened, right? Like, holy crap. So I, I was saying, like, if uh, <laughs> you came up and you gave me her pass, I would be like, oh shit, I'm out, bro. Because, like, uh, if I find. Okay, one, 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 buckle up, by the way, buckle up. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I think you guys are saying... So does that mean she would cheat? Okay. <laughs> you know, you're a really cool girl. I feel like we're vibing. Great personality. So, I mean, how would you feel about me getting your number? My, num my number? Yeah, your number. Like, um, why? Like I said, like, you're a great girl. I don't girl. think she would, but... We're vibing. I don't know. It's a really big, lonely house. Like, you know, it would be really cool if we just hang out. I would love for you to come over sometime and we just keep in touch. No. Like it's not anything uh -uh. serious, you know? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Like, I'll still like to get to know you and stuff. I don't think I she... Do I oh, Alright, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was uh, in, in the very beginning, I was kind of getting wise, but then, you know, midway through, I'm like, nah, I don't know she would. Or maybe they didn't try hard enough, because this is like the first encounter. I don't think they tried hard enough, but... But we still I mean, got a movie why? up ahead. Because I have a boyfriend? What does that have to do with anything? I'm just asking for your number. I feel like we have to have some way of communication and just keep in touch type of thing. Right. I just don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Not, 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 no, 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 no. I can't have friends, but I, I have a boyfriend. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do have a boyfriend. Yeah. Okay, so like, lucky hypothetically, man, lucky right? Man. Let's say you were single. Like, what Honestly, do you think? I can't Lucky man, lucky man. Okay, I don't understand. I just feel like, you know, you're a really great girl. Now, honestly, bro, like, I think they also did not try hard enough. Or what if she does not like BBC? 
it, it, I mean, that's a factor. That that can be a factor. Maybe she doesn't like BBCs. Maybe. Well, you could use some friends. Like, you don't have. We don't have to be like that. Like, I just wanted to get to know you. Maybe we can go get some dinner. You ever been to Nobu in Malibu before or anything like that? <laughs> Mom? No, I've heard. Hey, yo. But, I mean, um, that's true, right, Zoro? Yeah. Can get your Instagram maybe because uh, no. I, I do giveaways like every week so then I could tag you and just yeah. keep you informed so you can do the next giveaway maybe you might win a Tesla or what if I just give you the Tesla nah, she right? not folding. like from the giveaway and then I just give another one away man, man. now he's forcing it you could let me know the color <laughs> I feel like you'll look good in the Tesla honestly <laughs> man I think you should just skip the Tesla away good 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 I'm good I appreciate the offer. That's my girl, bro. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Now he's gonna tell everybody, that's my chick, bro. See, that's my chick, bro. I'm the man. Who's the man? I'm the man. Who's the man? I'm the man. Now he's gonna be uh, in his like A game. And rightfully, respectfully, though. Don DeMarco. Don DeMarco. But I still, I, I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer, but it's like, let's be real, guys. You guys know that, right? They did not try that hard enough, but we still got a movie up ahead. What if she falls? I was just trying to help you out, you know. I want to see the I mean, climax. But it's all right. I hope I didn't make you feel uncomfortable or anything. But uh, as far as like other things, like you said, you're into interior designing a little bit, or yes. yeah, he's done. Yeah, she's loyal. She's he loyal. Is loyal. As hell. She's loyal as hell. <laughs> Off rip, she was she like, not heavy. Yeah, there not was no red flags. She Honestly, it didn't even sound like she thought about it. You know? yeah, she yeah. was just like, no, I'm good. Now I have a boyfriend. Even for the Tesla, she could have been like, oh, I was just getting his number for the Tesla. Yeah, like, that's yeah. it. Black men just right after this. The <laughs> right after this. <laughs> Where are you originally from? Not too far. I moved here after I graduated. I kind of feel stupid for doing this test, but at the same time, like there's so many girls that would have folded, especially yeah. out here in LA. Reassurance is always good, but if you tell her that, now I don't know how she would react. I guess it depends person by person. Maybe she's gonna take in as, okay, you really like love me and you wanted to make sure, and now we're a lot more exclusive. Maybe it's gonna bring them together, or maybe it's gonna be like, Putting, but I think it's definitely gonna put a doubt, uh, put doubts in her mind. You know what I mean? Uh, but I also feel like that they didn't try hard enough. You guys agree, disagree? One, if you agree that they didn't try, uh, try hard enough. Two, if you're like Skizzle, come on, man, don't be a downer, bro. Like, is she a keeper, dog? Like, come on, man. Like, it's fine, bro. Uh, I, okay, straight says one on Twitch. Dude doesn't have any game. I think he has experience, but what if like uh, she doesn't like the BBCs? What you know, that's also a factor. Uh, I think they didn't try hard enough, and it was the first encounter. And also, maybe she doesn't like BBCs. Everybody got their preferences when it comes to who they want to marry or be with, right? And that's perfectly fine. That's not like a racist thing, it's just how it is, you know. Uh, I wouldn't live in Hollywood. Uh, she could be lying on living, or she's stupid. Uh, oh, Drake, Walikum Salam, bro. How you doing, man? She's going to think he doesn't trust her now. Yeah, that uh, she's gonna be planting. Uh, he's gonna be planting doubts in her mind. Uh, dude doesn't have any game. <laughs> okay, okay. This day and age, everybody has game DMs, though. Yeah. You know? I don't think there's anything wrong with being curious, mm -hmm. especially in LA. Mm -hmm. So we good? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, I think okay, so. We still I think got we're a good. Bit. I didn't like them going in the elevator together, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> said you do dance right like i have a lot of friends that are artists um do you want to go downstairs and tell her that this is all uh, smoke and drink i don't watch his streams that much uh i know the guy i would tune in uh but recently youtube is not yeah i forgot about the guy but i know who you're talking about i i honestly no clue bro because i don't watch you know what i mean test or do you want to keep this thing going and play it off as if it was all real I mean, what up, hi? I'm How you doing, definitely man? gonna have to tell her eventually because it's not like I'm getting 10 bands. But I don't think I can tell her right now. If I told her right now, she'd kill me. Oh, she'd yeah. be mad, bro. <laughs> yeah, don't tell her. <laughs> I think she'd be mad for many reasons. Like, I'm testing. I mean, I would say don't tell her, but like, UDY, very big channel, so she can find out. So it's like, it would be even worse than she find out, right? Then it's gonna be even worse. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be, you're gonna be you're gonna be better off saying, and I guess you're gonna be better off saying right now than later because when if you say it right now, then it's like over. If you do it later on, then 
you know, you're always going to be thinking about like, should I do it now? Should I do it later? Should I do it now? It's you're going to have a chip on your shoulder and you're going to be procrastinating. You're going to be overthinking a lot because already like <laughs> she was like folding her hands and you were like, you'll see she's not. Yeah, she has. a Yeah. So you were psychoanalyzing to make a reaction video on Jonathan. Who's Jonathan? though? Jonathan who? Who Jonathan? Jonathan who? Jonathan who? Who Jonathan? Uh, I don't know, man. It's not on YouTube. Of course, you will find out. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, if she does not find out by herself, her friends might link her or somebody else, you know? Sick is a crazy. Sick is gonna psychoanalyze and find her Instagram and uh, spy her down and uh, link this video to him. And obviously, you see... <laughs> and then she find out that <laughs> her uh, BF actually put oh, her shit. through that. Yay! Think her? Jonathan, your mom. Like, she's <laughs> on camera. She doesn't know. Like, what does she want to do? Like, you know? Yeah. She'll kill me. Like, you want to tell her on your own then? On your own time when you think it's best? I think so. Yeah. I think I'm about to save up some bread and take her to Nobu myself. <laughs> <laughs> you still cool with uh -huh. this person in the video? Yeah, yeah, no, for yeah. sure. Is that for good? Sure. Okay. For sure. No, it's, it'll be cool. No, but I appreciate you guys. Yeah, no, dude. No, it would be cool, bro. I'm happy for you. Yeah, I'm no, I am. You, I'm very happy. If she doesn't look getting mad at you. Maybe he's regretting this decision right now. But, okay, will he say? Let's see. Tell her that we, uh, we forced you to do this. So. <laughs> that way she gets mad at us and not you. <laughs> okay. okay, that's so better. That, there's only one last thing left to do. Play this entire thing off. Finish safe's portion of the interview. Oh. This is the giveaway winner. Wow, so you're the winner I've been hearing about, man. How's it going? Good, Safe. good. Nice to meet you. Lucky guy, man. Lucky guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. No, no this problem. is amazing. Your house is so cool. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Let me go get that money for you. All right, thank you. Oh, no problem. Yeah, you you offered me a Tesla. She said no. He offered to just be friends, go to Nobu. She said no. For me, that's a full on 100% pass. As promised. Wow. Here's the 10,000, man. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Thank you, bro. No, no problem. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. We'll what are you going to do with the money? Has, uh, I don't know. So in the envelope, Safe does have a check for $10,000. It is not real, though, so we can't cash it, but it looks hella oh real. Oh, my God. Everything you're doing is so dope. Like, your story and documenting it and everything. Mm -hmm. It just got really quiet really fast. Uh-oh. Hide your kids, guys. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. Damn, that's one hairy man, but what is gonna happen? UFOs? Yep. Holy crap, though. What the hell was that? I'm telling you right now. That mother. Yeah, whatever happened to this lady? Like, are we gonna get the conclusion and we're gonna get, like, the next part? Because they're truly, like, when you think about it, we, we still do not know what happened. Yeah, she came out after the fact and she said all was good, I was tripping, whatever. But uh, some there's another conspiracy right now that says that apparently she was told by the government to keep it shut. I don't know. Shadow One, welcome on in. Technology, it's becoming more and more challenging to actually trust what it is that we're looking at. Now, I'm not just talking about artificial intelligence replicating people's voices, pictures, and videos. I'm actually talking about the fact that a couple of decades ago, you would see something strange in the sky, and it would automatically trigger the possibility that you're looking at something from another world. What the yeah. That is insane, actually. So, like, some crap was going down on the moon? That's the TR-3B. That's gotta be the TR-3B. There's so many conspiracy there's so many conspiracy theories that says that that uh, the this thing the triangle shaped UFOs that is actually like reverse engineer and that's not like uh, alien alien but that's like the US military oh, shit. but oh, shit. reverse engineered off of the alien tech uh catch you in the next one Zayden appreciate you stopping by uh, I like how to like the stream you know how to like the stream how do you do that let me know Cause on their- <laughs> I know this is gonna sound weird in an actual video, but I'm actually vertical streaming and that's different. So, uh, how do you do that? Let me know in chat. So this one is in Brazil? Nowadays, unfortunately, because of drones and technology, it's quite difficult to classify what it is that we're looking at. Yeah, and this is what happened in Medellin, Colombia about a year ago, in June 2022, when several people were surprised by a very strange object in the sky. And this is what they saw. Check this out. Like, what? Yeah, what are the odds that thing is real? 
I, it looks like that the alien was using the restroom uh, right there. Maybe he was on a bathroom break. The noise, this one. That's the plane. I'm gonna land there. Okay. Yeah, the alien forgot, uh, you know what I mean? That people are able to see the UFO. Guys. He's like minding his own business what? and no, he parked it. He parked his uh, UFO there. Yo, YK Perry, welcome what on appears to be some, some sort of metallic videos. object can be seen hovering quietly above Medellin. Now, even though the object could be a balloon, most people who were seeing this agreed that it looked like something else. Not only that, the object appeared to be stationary for more than 30 minutes and it caught the attention of several people. Come on, man, 30 minute bathroom break? Yo, that's way too much. I think that's a lot. Yo, whoever, whatever alien race was inside, you guys gotta cut down that time to possibly 30 seconds. Because when on, on planet Earth, when we think about you and when we talk about you we all assume that you guys are advanced like 30 minutes that's killing a lot of time man. people around the city wasting a lot of time man. agree disagree bueno, aquí welcome on in char podemos what's up charlie observar en el cielo de medellin hoy lunes 27 de junio june 27 un objeto estático estático tiene static más de media hora allí Holy crap. Sin moverse. So we got a different angle as well. Okay, I love that. I love multiple angles because it kind of confirms and proves uh, a little bit to a certain degree that the video probably is legit and not CGI fake. But still, that's not 100% because in the past, there was a guy that actually had multiple angles and he sold the idea that he was looking at a UFO in the sky and later on turned out it was actually fake. And I'm a believer in the ALMOs. I do believe that we are not the only one. Uh, one, if you believe, uh, two, if you don't. I mean, UFOs are real. They have been confirmed by the government as well. But like, we do not know whether they are from uh, like alien stars or whether they are aliens or 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 just spy drones I, I would like to believe that they are from somewhere else but but that's personal belief could be wrong could be right uh where are you guys at one if you believe in aliens two if you don't let's get alive no sé. i appreciate you saying now i'm not exactly sure what this mysterious object is and apparently no one does what I do know, right, however, is it? that balloons are not supposed to stay still in the air, fixed in the same place for too long. Yeah. Not only that, a couple of hours later, passengers in airplanes were actually spotting the same object. Check this out. A lot pilots see a lot of crap, honestly. In the past, you heard stories that like pilots were not allowed to say. They were told to shut up, and their jobs were always like uh, uh, in trouble if they came out and talked about it. And so many pilots like uh, lost their jobs over that. We heard countless amount of those stories, whether true or not. That's debatable, uh, and we're not here to do that. But you heard that. But now you're hearing there's like a new program for UFOs, and the pilots are like required to say like if they see some crap like that, they are uh, they are required to uh, you know talk about it and tell them and uh just give a heads up that yeah they saw like some ufo flying there uh and they're required to talk about it which i think is good which i think is good but whatever this thing was it got the attention of a lot of people and left everyone completely baffled some internet users were suggesting that this is possibly a balloon or just a drone while others state that they have a cool balloon i've made a lot of the same yeah L lindor lindomar silva we love you brother thank you man <laughs> cool balloon guys uh yo mason i see you brother i see you man honestly we aren't alone alone in the whole universe man the universe is so big man we just cannot be jimmer i see you what's good mason i see you brother welcome on in i've seen similar things now even though this could be a balloon it's behaving quite differently than one, and apparently this is what caught a lot of people's attention. Not only that, if things weren't strange enough, it gets even stranger when a couple of months ago this year, a Colombian pilot saw a similar object flying at an amazing speed just above Antioquia in Colombia, about 67 miles away from Medellin. This is what he saw. Oh yeah, okay, I feel like, yeah, this is uh, one of those clips, right? Oh 
my god! And yeah, I want to pause it right here because it looks so good. I feel like this is one of the best footage that we got recently as well from a, a pilot uh, point of view. Uh, Yo, Nacho, I appreciate that. YK Perry, I'm from uh, Pakistan, uh, currently in Canada. Uh, Nacho says that, okay, so on mobile, you have to press the three dots on the top right and it will give you the option to like or dislike and share. Okay, yeah, on vertical stream, it's different. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, man. I'll... <laughs> In the video, we can see what appears to be the same metallic object swooshing by the airplane at very high speed. After the video was posted, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. And if we slow-mo and replay the video, we can actually see this mysterious object quite clearly. Now, if this is the exact same thing, I'm not too sure. What I do know is that I don't see a propulsion system in neither of the objects. Not only that, they were... Uh, Project Bluebeam? What do you guys think on that? Uh, yeah, sure, like, uh, there's a massive conspiracy theory with the uh, Project Bluebeam, and I made a video on the second channel as well. Uh, guys, this is my second channel, Scary X. This is where all of the videos go on, like, paranormal, UFO stuff, and conspiracies. Uh, this is where I cover, I love that. Uh, so definitely subscribe there, not here. This is my gaming channel, and if you're just coming on, we covered the gaming stuff earlier on the stream, so you can always rewind, and this will become a video later on. But, uh, I would like to believe not everything is Project Bluebeam. You know what I mean? I don't think this specific this incident is related to project bluebeam not sure it can happen but i don't uh, i don't think everything would be uh, what are your thoughts what is uh, uh project blue balls uh yeah I'm, I'm a cat's guy mason that's that looks like a ufo it is it is a ufo like we do not know what's that what that is we're seen in the same region just one year apart to this day officially both of these signings remain a complete mystery but when it comes to strange things in the sky, it doesn't stop there. A couple of weeks ago, in Bengaluru, in India, people saw what they could only describe as a square... Wasn't it Bangalore? Did they change the name or maybe he had a mispronunciation? I'm Pakistani, so like I, uh, I know a little bit. Uh, I mean, I, I know more than just a little bit. So they used to call Bangalore, no? Okay, maybe he pronounced it wrong there. Portal in the sky. Check this out portal in the sky lock yourselves in the basement the cool. martians <laughs> or i should say like dr portal, strange like yeah oh my god oh my god, god. <laughs> dr strange coming what up. appears to be some sort of mysterious rectangular light source can be seen in the sky and if you look closely in the video it appears as if the light source is coming from behind the clouds meaning that this possibly isn't a projection from a light source on the ground some internet users agree that this actually looks like a Brocken Spectre. Now, a Brocken Spectre is the magnified shadow of an... Okay, Rohan seems like you're Indian. Uh, used to be Bangalore, but now it's Bengaluru. So they did change the name. Because I know, like, before it was, like, Bombay, uh, Bombay, and now it's Mumbai, right? With the M. Uh, okay, okay, so it seems like that. Uh, you guys changed the... Uh, okay, looks like a Broken Spectre. Broken Spectre? An observer cast in midair upon any type of cloud opposing a strong light source. But something tells me that this is not what's going on here. Not only that, there have been several strange sightings in the sky lately of mysterious objects that appear to hide within the clouds. Dude, over here, come here. Look right above the trees. Come here, dude. Right above the trees. What? Dude, what is that? Ow, ow. That is not a plane either. It's not moving. Oh my it's not moving? Gosh, dude. Looks like another alien on Me a bathroom either. break. Oh! You dude. heard about Broken Spectre Did before? You see that shit me? Not to mention that in 2017 in China, something similar happened. And to this day, officially, there's no explanation for it. What do you think this mysterious light source is? And why do you think there are so many of these strange events going on lately? I, yeah, like, I, I also feel like that it's just uh, that we also have a lot of, uh, we got the technology, right? Like, we got, everybody got cell phones, everybody and their mom got cell phones, so it's, like, a lot more easier to record these things, these things. But I also believe the opposite is true, that the activity is uh, is increasing, too. Uh, uh, Dharon Patel, Bhaijan, Kaseo Bhaijan? I uh, appreciate the love, man. Uh, please, little video link, please. It's on that is impossible. That is impossible. Do alien shit in the woods? 
I am just so you know, I'm a male and from America, and I'm really sorry I'm able to answer this. Uh, Mason, it's it's fine. I, right now, it's not the time, bro. I I know we're vertical streaming, and uh, you're a young lad, you're a young kid, <laughs> but we're not talking about kids right now. Bro, uh, we're not. Late, maybe some other time. Maybe some other time. But uh, right now, it's not the time, brother. Right now, it's not the time. It's past your bedtime, Mason. Take a nap. Take a nap. Uh, go take a Is nap. Is it just a coincidence? Uh, mommy and daddy would be happy. Go take a nap. Uh, here in Philippines, there have been a lot of UFO sightings there. I do believe the activity is increasing too. Uh, maybe soon enough we're gonna get a disclosure. I don't know, man. Or is this the real deal and there's something going on? What's your take? I think the Martians are coming. I think they are coming. Maybe they're here. In a here. world where air travel has become an everyday norm for millions of people, it's astonishing to learn that approximately 40% of the population still harbors an underlying fear of flying. But I am telling you right now. Things like turbulence, <laughs> cramped spaces, and the mere <laughs> thought of being thousands of feet above the ground can sometimes trigger anxiety in even the oh, most no. experienced traveler. So Big it's Daddy, actually quite common for flight attendants to have to deal with stressful situations where passengers freak out midair. Oh my goodness. Yo, I don't know, like, man, I've been seeing like a lot of American Airlines freakouts like that. Like, holy crap, what is going on? Uh, this dude was locked up in the, his closet when he was a child losing UFOs. What the heck is wrong with you? Uh, been here forever, TBH. Andy, what's good, man? Ghost videos next? Uh, not today, not today, but hopefully next stream. This is sort of what happened a couple of weeks ago on a Dallas to Orlando flight. However, in this case, it was anything but a common situation. Actually, it ended up being something far more sinister, and it became Holy one of the biggest mysteries this year. This is how everything started. Pay very close attention. I'm telling you, I'm getting the f off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the f off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two but I am telling you right now, she made a video after the fact. Okay, so do we have like uh, something else on this? Let's see. You can sit on this plane and you can die with them or not. I'm not going to. The government censored her? Is that true? Freaking out about a person who supposedly does not exist, a woman asks to leave the plane immediately. And after a couple of tense moments, the airplane returns to the gate and she's removed from the flight. After the video was posted, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and the video became a topic. Yeah. Who was this mysterious woman and what was it that she was talking about? But ever since, strange things began to occur. Starting oh, no. with the original video, posted by Texas, Kansas, being mysteriously deleted. Then, a couple of days later, yeah. another video pops up of a person saying he was on board the same flight and he tells his side of the story. I was on that flight, it was American Airlines, we were leaving Dallas-Fort Worth. I was sitting in the left aisle, about three rows back from this woman. She was sitting in the right aisle and she had this very interesting exchange with some dude in a hoodie. I don't remember the color of the hoodie. I, this was after putting all the luggage away. We'd been on the plane for a little bit. It was before the flight attendant came over and gave the little speech. He continues on giving specifics about the flight. And then he explains how the plane lady got into a conversation with a dude in a hoodie. What I remember is she ha was having like a full-blown conversation with this dude in the hoodie. I'll call him the hoodie guy. She was having a full-blown conversation with hoodie guy. The weird thing was that he never once said a f word to her the whole time. And at the time, I, I don't know, I wasn't really thinking about it. But it was like she, it's like she would say something and he like would respond, but there was no exchange happening. It was just her getting more and more frantic. Creepy, right? But it gets even creepier. Pay very close attention to what if it was a uh, DB Cooper though? Oh shit! Oh. Yeah! How many of you guys know about DB Cooper? Lamont Mason came back here straight uh, on Twitch says I like the mixed content. Yeah, on stream we can mix up the content, but on the channel I sadly cannot. Right? It's gaming only, uh, and this uh, video would go on the the the, the second channel. UFO content, uh, UFO channel. It was a time traveler. Uh, he just started watching your channel and you're already a damn legend. Michael, I appreciate you, brother. It's a pleasure to have you. She was on something for sure. Now, a lot of people believe that she was on something, 100%. Uh, some people believe that it's a conspiracy. Uh, some people are...
are willing to believe the story a lot more because later on she came on and she said that now nah, everything was fine. Even though she said that, people are like, nah, bro, the government told you to shut up. Listen, I'm not claiming to know the truth. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's not true. But personally, I think she was tripping, though. I, I, I think she... But I could be wrong. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be open to the idea that I could be wrong, 100%. But I think this was uh, not that deep. Uh, but uh, let's see. Maybe we got a plot. Let's see. Okay, if she's drunk and she's going crazy, then you would think the dude in the hoodie would have been like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? But he was just like dead locked on her, like deep eye contact with her. Like, like I don't want to feed into the here, but like, like almost like she was like in a hypnosis type of thing. And she started getting more and more frantic to the point where then people started kind of noticing. Flight attendant came over, tried to calm her down. Like, what's going on? She yeah. sat back down, but she kept looking over at this dude in the hoodie. And finally she was like, done with it and that's like when i really started paying attention like okay what the is going on he continues on explaining how she gets up asks to leave the fight and then the whole video thing happens however according to cole something else also happened something that wasn't caught on video that day the weird wow. thing was after she left the plane the dude in the hoodie which the flight attendant was like did anything happen and he still didn't say a word he just went like and like shrugged the dude in the hoodie like looked around the plane and he looked back at me and he winked at me and again i didn't quite register it i was like okay what is that about i was like maybe he's just being like an ass like winking like that was weird wasn't it but now that i look or maybe he caught feelings for you maybe he caught feelings for you ohio here love the channel kid you michael i appreciate you brother <laughs> or uncle uncle is that you michael and oh, no, i'm just joking around. michael i appreciate it uh godzilla What's good? Welcome on in, Godzilla. Abdullah, what's good? Yo, we talked about GTA 6 earlier, Abdullah. Look back, I realized I that you, when man. he winked at me, and it was his left eye looking back at me, it didn't wink like this. It winked like this. After the video was posted, it amassed millions of views and thousands oh, of comments, and people were completely creeped out about it. Was this man telling the truth? Did this woman... It did not wink like this? It winked like that? Damn! Yo, yeah, what are the odds that's true? What are the odds? One, if you believe the story. Two, if you don't. She made an apology video later. Yeah, right? Like, I, I heard that. Uh, I saw that and I called that BS a lizard. Man, lol. Suspect. Rizzler. Bro is a Rizzler. Bro trying to Riz. When on the plane actually encounters some sort of reptilian shapeshifter or something like that. I got you, Mason. Thank you, man. Oh, no. Now, if this wasn't hey. already very strange, it gets Bruh. even stranger when a couple of days later another video goes viral of the supposed hoodie guy on the plane. The this is the video, check this out. Oh, this is her bag. She's gonna get her bag. Do you want to get her bag out so we can get this going so you can all go? In this video, we can see the hoodie guy on the back of the plane. And people were completely creeped out about the possibility that this was the same this or person that Cole was talking about. Not only that, is this man an alien or a reptilian shapeshifter? He looks pretty normal to me though. Of some kind. Uh, can you point out? After doing some normal, research, please. I found out that this video was actually uploaded several years ago, meaning that this is possibly fake. Not only that, apparently so is Cole's story about the reptilian shapeshifter on the plane. The weird thing was after she left the plane... If we take a quick look under his profile, you'll see that he states that this is all just a social experiment to prove Bruh. how easy it is to fake things online. Yeah. At this point, things got... Yeah... Bruh. You cannot trust anything anymore. You cannot trust anything. Zayden, welcome back. You really can't. And I, and I hate that, right? Because this topic is very much like... Yeah, a lot of people watch it because they want to... It's thrilling in nature. It's mysterious. People want to know the biggest... Two biggest questions are what happens after we die and are we alone in the universe? And people truly want to know, though. You know, it's a... Uh, and when, like, there are lies within that, yeah, man, it's like... Come on, man. Like, what what is even true, though? You know, we, we have that Miami Mall thing that happened not long ago. Um, <laughs> that aliens landed in Miami malls. Uh, we had that situation that blew up like crazy. Holy crap, that blew up like crazy. I do believe something happened, but like, come on, man, that was not the aliens there, or maybe there were, but I don't believe that. I don't believe that something surely did happen. 
Uh, and I do agree with you that it was hella suspect for them to not reveal the dash cam footage from the, the, the cops. Uh, and, and police never released any body cam footage, but uh, yeah, uh, suspect, suspect, but yeah, come on, I don't think it was that, uh, and now we're like, what, uh, we're like a month, a month and a half, almost two months later, no information, and the subject, the entire topic has died down, nobody cares about, cares about the Miami Mall, everybody's like, on to the next one, you know, on to the next one, uh, yep, I'm getting rid of my lizard, just like, uh, just like no streamer use cheats, if we're alone, my my dog is like, yeah, exactly. Smoke and drink, just like no cheat, uh, no streamer use cheats, exactly. Very blurry. No one knows who the woman is, what she was talking about, and there were loads of people online faking stories about it. Same with but Miami Mall. But here's where things take an even darker turn. Same with Miami Mall. People were like CGI. People were using like older clips, uh, and there was a clip that <laughs> I saw. It was like it had that Doctor Strange CGI, right? So a lot of people did fake a lot of clips with the Miami Mall as well. A couple of days later, another video pops up of a supposed passenger in a UK flight freaking out because of a person sitting next to him. This what is the video. Oh, hey. Hi, what's going on? Time. <laughs> Look at everyone filming, man. Get him out. What the f is happening right now? In this video, a 27-year-old boxer tries to open the plane door supposedly because of a passenger sitting next to him. There's not much more information on the video which makes things a bit more mysterious. And the plane lady in this video, it could just be a coincidence. If it weren't for the fact that in the same week, another video pops up. In China, this right? This time on Reddit. A supposed leaked footage of a flight in China yeah. where a man started freaking out midair, saying that he had woken up. This was quite an error. I, I think <laughs> in the same week, what are the odds? And right now, like nobody's talking about it anymore, right? Godzilla, I appreciate you coming on. Catch you in the next one, brother. Take it easy. Take it easy, brother. Appreciate you, man. Up from a time loop and that this was his sixth cycle and that in all previous cycles, the plane had crashed. Needless to say, Passengers started freaking out, and this is what happens. Check this out. Plane crash. What? Yeah, damn. Like, you know what? If a Chinese man freaks out like that, then I'm more inclined to believe versus like an American man or gal. You know, like. This is so sad to see. Yeah, like. Why are you so afraid? It doesn't matter. Okay, so police uh, is here. Po okay, police is here. Oh shit! I think yeah, you cannot say that on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can, but it's like it can negatively impact a video. Let's just say cop is here. I mean, already. I mean, I'm on a, I'm on a live stream, so. Uh, cop is, cops are here, why are you so afraid, and, uh, so many pleas are here, also? What? Don't you guys want a live reset? Don't you feel After tired? After being uploaded, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and most internet users were confused. What Can up, we Chase? actually trust the subtitles and what's being said in the video? So I contacted a few translators and unfortunately most of them did not understand what was being said. Other internet It's almost as though he was the alien himself that was speaking that alien language, you know? Internet users stay uh, PLS equal uh, people. Okay, okay. But but the first word that was uh, blurred out, I, I thought it, it meant like the police. Uh, I didn't see this one. That the freak out was because the man saw a flight attendant changing her batteries. This means that we can't trust 100% that this is the real deal. Please open the door for me. However, if this is the real deal, is this man some sort of time traveler? Uh, Rohan, PLS, uh, okay, maybe, uh, uh, yeah, every country got, like, different slang, but, like, Bhaijan, here, uh, when we, when you say please, uh, PLS, it means please, like, please, you know, just, like, a short form, but maybe it means, uh, different there, or maybe it's, like, or maybe you know that, the in, in China, maybe that's what it means, maybe, I, I don't know, but I thought it meant, like, please, like, P-L-E-A-S-E, -E. like, please, you know, Papa, please, like, that. Or really stuck in a time loop. 
and I find it to be a bit of a coincidence that we have three videos of people having freakouts in airplanes in for mysterious week, huh? reasons in the same month. It could be a very elaborate hoax, or it could be something else entirely. I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on here? I think people were tripping out. I truly do think people were really, really tripping out. Now let's get back to the UFO time traveler who takes a plane every now and then. Uh, Chris, appreciate you stopping by. Catch you in the next one, man. Uh, Zayden, it's uh, 20 more minutes long. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a really big fan of going into the woods, hiking, camping, and all those things. This is why a couple of months... Uh, I am too, but in terms of just uh, watching people camp on YouTube, if that makes sense. ...ago, I did a story on Moat Owens, a young man who usually posts videos of motorbiking adventures in the woods Hard and things of sort. I'm gonna pull this out there and just go ahead and put... Now, oh, a couple no of months ago, rip. Mo Owens found himself face to face with the strangest of situations. Gee. He was motorbiking deep into the woods, about 12 kilometers deep, when all of a sudden he hears this thing screaming just next to him. Oh, that's right. I mean, if you really see like bones lying around and they look like uh, actual bones and they're like out in the open field, that's a sign, bro. That is a sign. Don't be there. Like and subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, Spider Harry, welcome on in, brother. Uh, this is really a sign to not be here, though. This is where most people would turn around. Yeah, like, because they're not stupid, you know? Could like, be missing out what's on the other side. Yeah. Oh. So he heard the hay. Maybe it's okay to miss out what's on the other side now, huh? I would go back as a skinwalker. Hello? Oh crap. Oh my goodness. Yeah, At bro. At the time, it's some time internet users back. thought that this could be just a bobcat or something like that. Yeah, guys, <laughs> I don't want to miss out on the other side. Misses out what's on the other side <laughs> and goes back. While others suggested that this could actually be a skinwalker or something far more sinister. Needless to say, Mo Owens got out of there as fast as possible, and, well, he never went back. I mean, this I is mean, until a couple of smart. weeks ago. His subscribers kept asking him to go there once again, and, well... Don't listen to your subscribers, bro. No offense, guys. No offense. I love you. Let me show you some uh, I know you guys would not tell me to go to there, right? Right, right. I agree. You agree. We all agree. Come on now. Let's be real. But, nah, bro. You don't listen to your subscribers. Don't. He did. And this... Is what happened. He listened. Check this out. He listened. Oh, God. Rook, bad moves. Still None here. taken. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Oh, God. I love y'all, man. Even more bones than last but... time. It's been a few months since I filmed the last video. Because honestly, I've just been too scared to come up here. Definitely a lot more overgrown than last time. I'm hoping that since it's been such a long time that I don't think anything will happen this time. I think that tree is actually gone. This road's been cleared. Looks like we've already passed it a while ago, but that tree is gone. Okay. Seeing that okay. the tree that was blocking the path wasn't there anymore, Mo Owens continues on for a bit more, hoping that things will go smooth this time. And this is what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going with a group would be ideal, oh, not alone, 100%. He, he saw something. He's probably gonna turn around soon. Oh, Yo, what if ways. your bike stops working? Holy oh. crap, dude, this trail don't run forever. Honey, I'm home. It just got really quiet really fast. I hate that too, bro. Yeah. What, what? Am I seeing things? Oh, he panicking, he panicking. Yeah, started. Oh no, bro, this is the worst ever, worst thing ever. Holy crap, yeah, run bro. That was my cue to leave. If the woods going silent isn't creepy enough, it gets even creepier when Mo Owens realizes that he actually caught some sort of humanoid looking creature lurking behind one of the trees. The 
Oh my goodness, bro. Yeah, I was like, okay, my monitor brightness is very low, right? I keep it very low because like I'm working all day on computers. So I keep it very, very low. So at first I thought there was something, but I didn't get to see it right now. I'm seeing it. Holy crap. Horror cliche, the motor or car. Okay, yeah, this is how uh, all horror movie starts, uh, English. Uh, yeah. It's like, man, I don't want that to happen to even my worst enemies. It's like, the guy's trying to run, but it's like, the bike not working, though. What up, Skizzle, my little Big pain, welcome on in on Twitch. I appreciate you, brother. At I will the, say the time, if you say Owen I'm... says nah, he did say, not bro. see it. He just felt the need to get out of there as fast as possible, and he did. I appreciate you stopping by, Nacho. Thank you, man. Let me show you some kisses because we exclusive right now. I'll say. No, I'm joking, bro. But I appreciate you, honestly. You were on Twitch. You were here on YouTube. I appreciate you. Love you, man. Catch you in the next one. All right. Take it easy, brother. Have a blessed, uh, blessed week. It was while editing the video that he actually realized that he caught this bizarre humanoid figure on camera. Many still suggest that whatever this thing is, it might be a rake or a skinwalker. Others state that it's just a wolf or some other animal. But I'm not too sure. If we slow mo and zoom in. Okay, if we're gonna play this game, then I can surely play this game and say, what if it was a chihuahua, you know? Bruh. I know previously I was calling it Chihuahua. I, you guys corrected me, like, this is not how you pronounce it. So, yeah, total my bad. It's my bad. Um, and yeah, it's a Chihuahua. It can be a Chihuahua. And on Gandalf? the video, we can see what actually looks like some sort of humanoid figure. Standing oh, I got you, up. Natural. I got you, I got you, I got you. Now, I even see, though I not see. much is known about this mysterious figure, what I do know is that this place is as creepy as it can get. And I'm guessing that whatever it was that he heard the previous time could possibly be the same thing that he encountered this time. Holy crap. But I want to know your thoughts. Is this some sort of skinwalker creature that he I mean, if I saw that, I would just, uh, I would make my own UFO and take off. You feel what I'm saying? Actually encountered. Or is it maybe something else entirely? Yeah, What's I would just take off. I would just take off instantly with my own uh, homemade UFO. It was a white man. Yeah, suckers are really afraid of white people nowadays. When we huh? hear or see things that we don't fully understand, we immediately start looking for an explanation, and when we don't find one, that's when we tend to start looking at things like parallel dimensions, glitches in the matrix, time travel, and the list goes on. Alright, like, okay, this kind of broke my mind, okay, so that pigeon was not moving and all of a sudden he started flying. That guy appeared out of nowhere and then you got like no building, that's a glitch in the matrix. I actually had experience uh, once. And I was like, holy shit, you know, because there was an antenna, for example, I saw that in real life. Uh, it was not a glitch, so yeah, I'm gonna give you the plot this early. Uh, it was not actually, but I thought it was a glitch in the Matrix. You see, for example, this there was a building in real life that I saw, and there was an antenna, right? I was not seeing the middle part here that was holding the antenna. I was seeing the antenna almost as though it was floating in sky. You know, it's just like a couple of blocks away from me and you were not able to see it because of the clouds and the way it was colored. Uh, and that thing was like very, very freaky. I used to joke about that with my uh, with my friends. Uh, and I'm talking about when I, I used to go to like uh, early in my early high school days, right? So me and my friends, uh, we had that kind of glitch. We used to call it glitch in the matrix. But then we saw like the the thing, you know, when the clouds cleared up, we saw, yeah, there was something that was holding it up. And we were like, okay, yeah, whatever. That made a fool uh, out of ourselves. But we had that memory that we want. Whenever we pass by that block, we our, we always joke about that. Uh, but this one, okay, I never had like a building just non-exist though. Like I never had an experience like that. The thing is, since ancient times, it is believed that other types of worlds intertwine somehow with what ours. Hot, hot and in different That's cultures good. all over the world, this invisible world is known as a spirit world. Parallel universe? Now, to this day, this spirit- We must stay focused, brothers. Keep your eyes on the girl behind- Now, uh, come on, man. Put the text a little bit on the other side. Be a lot more respectful that way. Uh, keep your eyes on the girl behind. Came out of nowhere. Okay, so we really gotta- Come on, man. We really gotta look at the bunda like that? World hasn't been scientifically proven. What? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, I just realized. Holy crap. Now, to this day, this spirit world hasn't been scientifically proven. However, the most modern scientific theories suggest 
that there are possibly more than 10 dimensions, meaning that maybe there is a spirit world and possibly much, much more. But here's the thing with so many videos out there, there should be at least one or two that may actually prove the existence of these other worlds. And maybe there is. The, that girl one was edited? You, I mean, yeah, in this day and age, you cannot trust anything, especially with the AI videos. This is pre that, uh, this is, this video is pre that AI Sora videos that are going around right now. 3M here, Skizzle. Great stream. Catch you next time. Catch you in the next one. Wet Mick uh, for the UK. Love you, homie. Love you, my G. Uh, from Canada to UK. Appreciate it. Gang, gang. Catch you in the next one. Yo, Maestro, how you doing? Welcome on in. Wolf or Ki uh, Coyote wouldn't make everything go very quiet, uh, very fast to me. Skin to me, Skinwalker and Wendigo or something paranormal would make sounds in the woods go quiet. Okay, that's what Spartan said in the chat. Uh, react, please, Josh. I see you, brother. Welcome on in. If you guys are new on Twitch, definitely follow. We're gonna be streaming a lot more on Twitch and also here on YouTube. Is on August 2020, an internet profile by the name of Snackquarius was listening to classical music with a friend of hers somewhere in Australia. Most restaurants, stores, malls, everything was basically closed back in 2020. And it was a beautiful afternoon when all of a sudden something really strange happened. This is what she caught on camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> For those listening to the message. So I was in contact with the time council. Terrible, it's a flip and a spiraling ring. This is the power of base, class 65. Am I tripping right now? Ah, oh, what is happening? Oh, it's like one of those things, right? Like whenever you catch your... Uh uh, what's the what's the Amazon thing? You know, it's like AI. You can talk to her and she talks to you back, uh, gives you advice whenever you're like, hey, give me if if you want to search for a fact. I've, I'm forgetting her name. It's like voice uh, only, right? The Am the thing that Amazon sells. Uh, and you guys know what I'm talking. About. Alexa, yeah, Alexa, natural, you got it. Yeah, Alexa. It's like one of those things. Like when Alexa would bug out. There have been moments I've recorded, right? It's like one of those. Yeah, uh, yeah. Technically, you can say Siri as well, but I was talking about Alexa. Uh, t uh, 10 a.m. here. I'm Asian. Yo, watermelon. Welcome on into the channel, man. Love you here. I, I guess 4 a.m. Really dark. I mean, that's when the videos hit different, right? Yeah, man, Alexa. I, I know Wendigos. They possesses people. The reason I know about Wendigos is because of the Until Dawn game. I love that game a lot. Uh, Skizzle, there is a UFO slightly in Israel, but we don't know if it's a UFO. I heard about it, but I have not seen it. I'll ch I'll look into it. Uh, I uh, loud much radio. Yeah, but maybe radio <laughs> radio guy or gal was freaking out. In the video, we can clearly hear some sort of interruption on the radio, and all of a sudden, a voice can be heard. I can't exactly make out everything that's being said, however things like time capsule or time council and there's not much time, those yes, things Richard, are very clear Alexa. to me and they were just about enough to catch my attention. And not only my attention, but also the attention of millions of people all over the world. Uh -oh. Some internet users thought that maybe this could be a radio transmission from an escape room. The only problem is... In 2020, most likely escape rooms weren't open. And in most countries, you gotta have a license to transmit to radio frequency. So this is most likely not the case. But if it isn't, then what's going on here? Yeah. Several internet users were trying to figure out exactly what was being said in the- Oh, the poor internet detectives. Now they have to like lose brain cells over investigating that. I get it though. But now it's actually creepy in nature. I do agree. Uh, have you heard about a mountain opening up and a UFO going inside it? Uh, the, you mean, okay, I've seen a video a long time ago, Heather, that was about, like, uh, a UFO going inside a mountain, but it was in Antarctica, right? That's what I heard, but you're probably thinking of something else, and whatever you're thinking, I probably don't know. But you sparked that memory. I genuinely hope everyone that sees this going go, goes to Jesus, he will help or heal whatever you need. If you ask, okay, that's what TH is saying, uh, coming from a good place, okay. Uh, I take it back, Christopher, take it back. What are you taking back? Don't take it back, Christopher. Radio transmission. Brunswick One internet Ola. user by the name of Jenny said, 1065 means stand by, awaiting next message. Another internet user states, It sounds like a time traveler got caught. People went back to help, and he's telling others to hurry and get back. There's not much time. Oh wow. One okay. internet user even stated that a similar thing happened to him before. 
and that he's been searching the internet ever since and found nothing related to it except for this video. The end is nigh, the end is nigh, lock yourselves in the basement, it is over. You, uh, I, I love that 2012 movie a lot. I believe I got this one from, you know there was a guy that would freak out, that was a conspiracy theorist, but in the end it turns out that he was actually speaking facts. He was like one of the hobo kind of guy, but he had all the facts and he had the, the world map. If you watch a 2012 movie, how many of you guys seen it? Raise your hands, don't be shy, don't be shy, one in the comments if you've seen it. One brain cell left. Uh, Huggy, thank you for subscribing, but do not subscribe here. This is my gaming channel, okay? If you're into UFO and all that content, I would love for you to be on my second channel, which is called Scary X. I'll uh, uh, just put it in the chat and you can copy and paste it because I don't think links would work in chat. Uh, but yeah, I would love to have you there. This is where I upload all of this content every day. UFO, paranormal conspiracies, but uh, you have seen it, Nacho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and in that guy, in that we had a conspiracy guy, right? That would be like, yeah, the end is nigh. He would stand on the top of the mountain and he would like make call outs. He had a radio show. Um, yeah, man, it was a very, very good movie. Very good movie. I go back to it uh, here and there. Very, yeah, 2012 was a good movie. Uh, your black man just appreciate you stopping by, brother. Andrea, what's good? How are you doing? Green. Heather, you should check it out. You should check it out. On Yellowstone? Yeah, on Yellowstone. Exactly. <laughs> Watch it tonight, Heather. Watch it tonight. Now, I'm not exactly sure that this radio interruption in Australia is a time-traveling message, but it is very strange. And to this day, no one knows where it came from or what it means. I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this is a radio glitch, an escape room, or something like that? Or maybe the real deal? But when it comes to these strange and unexplained occurrences, there's one that's creeping absolutely everyone out. Okay, let's see. On a video posted by Kinney Varo on Instagram, a couple of people are enjoying a good time on top of a mountain in Malaysia when this happens. Check this out. Yo, what's oh. that? Ah! The guy must have been hooded up. There is okay. We're gonna get a rewind there. Uh, have you seen the new alien movie Jules? Uh, nope. I'll, I'll okay. I'll, I'll look for. I'll, I'll check it out and see. At first, what appears to be a regular and everyday moment on top of a mountain, but then, if we rewind the video and if you pay close attention, there's one specific person hey. that stands out. So his chest is facing us, right? Come on, go, go back, go back, go back. Come on. Oh, why are you leggy this much, man? Going frame by frame is sometimes can be pain here. Uh, name a car for an edit. Uh, Ferrari. Headless. Yeah. Okay. Holy crap! So you see the his hand, the watch, and this is his chest. He's facing. Yeah. That that's creepy though. But obviously it can be fake, right? Or the guy could be playing a prank where his head is inside. But then his like Pepe is right here, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my indicator to uh, know where his waist is at. Uh, so his waist is here. I don't know, man. That's uh, that's kind of freaky, though. It's out. Internet users were freaked out about it. What appears to be a headless person can be seen in the video. Now, some internet users suggest that this is just an illusion of some type, that the person is actually looking down at a certain angle, making it look like it doesn't have a head. However, many other internet users disagree. Some state that this is possibly a ghost or a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> okay. And it could be one of those rare occasions when a camera actually picks up a ghost or something that's not supposed to be there. There are dozens of these unexplained photos all over the world, but I'm not yeah. sure. What's your take? Yeah, the internet detectives. I love my internet detectives, don't get me wrong. And this kind of triggers a memory. You probably, you know, this is one of the biggest thing, uh, biggest fallback point. Or whenever somebody's trying to make a point of, hey, time traveling is real, they always bring that, you know, that boxing match that happened where Mike Tyson, with Mike Tyson, where you see a guy in the crowd holding like a smartphone, right? And in that era, smartphones did not exist. So this is like one of, it's kind of sparked that memory. Uh, oi! Oi, what up, Andrea? That game was good. He looking down. But you don't... You don't see, though. Maybe this is the head? I don't know, man. It's it's creepy. It's creepy in nature. I agree. I 
Uh oh. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I was always afraid of sleeping next to dolls or toys. Oh, I was no, always afraid no. they would start moving on their own. Heather, I better not see your comment in chat, because you sent me that picture and I saw that and I was like, what? The actual F. But I get it, like, that's your, your thing, that's your thing. You're, like, selling them, right? But, like, no, nah, not this. And totally. even though it never happened, and I knew it was supposed to be impossible, it was something that I was always afraid of. Now, the funny thing about it is that later on, I found out that a lot of people are also afraid of dolls and toys at night. It's not that I'm afraid of dolls, it's just creepy, like, not a, a normal person would not keep them. Uh, no offense, uh, Heather, if you're still watching and you're still listening, you know, just jokes, you know, just, 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 just. But, but you know what I mean, like, uh, unless you're, like, a, in a business of selling them, understandable. But other than that, no, man, I see my comment on the video, I got you, Andrea, I got you, man, I show everybody comments, man. Uh, dolls are not creepy, I mean... <laughs> but I guess that this is not the case for Cassie O'Malley. On yeah. January 19th, if your doll, if your doll does that, you would be creepy too. Uh, you would be creeped out too. A friend of Cassie's gave her a gift, an Ashton Drake doll. Person who Monkey? bought it got it off of Amazon. It's an Ashton Drake doll. No. The eyes are gonna move. For those of you who do not know, an Ashton Drake doll is a realistic, lifelike doll that actually is referred to sometimes as a reborn because of their resemblance to real life babies. They use a type of vinyl called So Truly Real, which actually feels like baby. Dog, why buy a fake baby that looks like a real baby? Make your own babies, bro. <laughs> it's called biology, damn it. Or if you. For some reason, no disrespect, for some reason you can, you can adopt a kid, adopt a child. That's a beautiful thing though. You know what? They get their parents, they get some, they get parents figure, let's just say. And uh, you know what? It's a beautiful thing. But like, holy crap, why get this? Be skin. It's that. Or, or if, just watch a video of babies on the YouTube. If you are like, uh, yeah, like why have like a fake ass baby like that? Realistic. Kind of creepy, isn't it? Yeah. But it gets even creepier when Cassie actually opens the doll's box for the first time. And this is what happens. Pay very close attention. Oh, rip. Let me reload. Oh my god, I swear to god, this thing just looked at me. Oh my. Did you see that? Right after Cassie opens the box, the doll's eyes can be seen moving, looking straight at her. And she saw it, and it clearly freaked her out. Oh my god, I It freaked her out so much that she ended up making several videos in hopes of catching the doll doing it again. But it never did. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now that the baby monkey doll got his guard up though. Now he's not gonna sell them signs. The monkey is cute. Yeah, go adopt that monkey then. Francis, yeah, go for it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, lady, whoever you are, give that monkey to him. He finds it cute. He finds it cute. Yo, what's up, man? I'm here. Yo, no, <laughs> just joking around. I want advice. Just don't buy dolls that are creepy. Oh, but how do you find out, like, which doll is going to be creepy and which is not going to be, you know? However, in one specific video, most of her subscribers state that they can see the doll's head moving. Check this out. As I am sitting here reading all of these comments, I forgot that this... Is still sitting here. Oh my god, nah, bro. Nah, now, if nah. all of this weren't strange enough, it gets even stranger. In another video, she finds out that the doll's name is Annabelle's Hugs. You guys, I just noticed something crazy as f. Oh, shit. You're all good at things. It's so insane, but I just took out the certificate of authenticity for her, and you're not gonna freaking believe the name on this thing. Annabelle? Are you Annabelle hugs. 
Even though this. Uh, the homie Otterson on Twitch asks, "What are your rules to submitting my own video?" Nah, no rules. Uh, uh, I had some videos lined up, uh, and, and that's it. Uh, but if you want to send me a video, you can just send me on Twitter or email. If you don't have Twitter, I would per uh, prefer Twitter. Send me a link there, uh, and maybe you can check it out next stream. Because right now I'm kind of towards the end of the stream. You feel what I'm saying? But I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Killender coming in with one Canadian. Yo, thank you for the one tip, uh, for the one dollar tip. Canadian. I'm in Canada as well, Montreal. Uh, appreciate the dollar. Burn it because that that's the name. Monkeys are like us, bro. Uh, grabs. Uh, listen, man. Monkey lives matter. We're not attacking the mon monkeys here. We're attacking a fake wanna be ass monkey hair okay there's a big difference dog there's a big ass difference here leave the name on this thing this is a wanna be monkey ass okay are you even though this is all very creepy some of her subscribers weren't exactly very convinced that this could be the real deal so she later posted a video explaining how the doll isn't supposed to move her eyes or her mouth or anything like that also for the people who say oh just her eyes are supposed to move her eyes aren't moving thank you for the one thank you for the one okay so when she shakes that <laughs> bitch ass monkey doll <laughs> it does not move the eyes um uh, but earlier it did they i appreciate moving. that thank Unless you she just blinked helps a have. lot helps a lot if we slow-mo and replay the video it actually looks as if the doll is looking straight at her and it changes and many back, seem right? to agree. But I'm not too sure. What do you think is going on here? Real or not, I just would not. I just would now, not. when it comes to encounters with the paranormal, public transportation like buses, trains, and taxis have often been the backdrop of unexplained sightings and events. Yeah, there, there go. For example, in Japan in 2011 and 2012, there were a number of strange cases of taxi drivers who would pick up passengers that would simply vanish into thin air. Some of these taxi drivers were actually able to capture this on camera. Now Holy imagine crap. a similar situation unfolding thousands of miles away in Delhi, India. Oh my god! Yo, I'm okay, I'm Pakistani, so uh, this is India, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar, I'm familiar. Oh she, oh she. Any Indian uh, homies or Pakistani homies uh, watching? Uh, nah, bro, it's just the way the light shifted. No way. I had a paralyzed, uh, okay, you paralyzed dream of my sister doll all standing around my bed and I woke up with a huge fever. Dang. Uh, okay, so you had that moment. Holy crap. I don't want to wish that on anybody in chat here. A couple of weeks ago in the region of Mundka, a bus driver started noticing. Yeah, my brown brother. Any brother? Any brown brother? <laughs> any brown? Yeah, I'm a brown man. Yeah, Rohan, brown man. Brown Mundes, kaise ho bhai Azad Bhajan, kya chal hai? Ho, ho? Give me a shout out, Jarhead, shout out to you, man. Seeing strange things going on inside his bus right before his shift ended. In one of the videos, the bus driver notices that one of the seats looks as if there's still someone actually occupying it. He goes over to the CCTV camera and is shocked by what he sees. Check this out. Uh, he says that he's gonna show us like a crazy ass thing. That's what he meant. I can translate for you guys. Like, I got you. Koi bhi nahi means mar gaya. Gonzo, Dunzo, Fineto. There is nobody, but there is someone sitting there. You okay, there was like a Japan incident similar to that. I thought that this was gonna be that video, but it's different. So this is like the Indian version. So it's always hilarious when you can understand the language. So he's uh really kind of serious about it. He's not like really freaked out. But he's more so like, hey man, I'm not sure what the hell is going on. Uh, like I showed you, there was there was nobody sitting, but now when I show you the camera here, I see somebody sitting. So I, I think, yeah, he. I, I don't think the guy's trying to fake this out personally because he's not like trying to put like, 
like a face. And he seems calm though. He seems calm actually. I don't know. Some people would take that, yo, bro, like he's fake and he's showing no emotions, but he don't seem to be freak out, but freak out. Conductor seat की तरफ ले जाता हूँ। Yeah, he's saying he's gonna go back. कोई भी नजर नहीं आ रहा कैमरे में। Yeah, he he says that he do, does not see whatever is sitting here in the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. देखो। Uh, देखो means look, as it said. Uh, I I know that I did not. Yeah, I know subtitles, but yeah. In the video, we can see that there is apparently no one sitting inside the bus. However. When the bus driver shows the CCTV camera, it actually checks out that there's someone there. Mm. And what makes this all even creepier is the fact that when he approaches the seat, you can actually see the markings as if there's someone actually still there. Creepy, isn't it? But it gets even creepier that same Throwing, okay, throw boiling water on the seat, it makes it go away, trust me, but you might, you might attract it towards you for good, right? So I don't know, man, any, any expert in the chat, deko deko na priti, okay, <laughs> Zeman, you gotta stop that on Twitch, bro. Uh, now, I don't know, man, any, any of you got any, any weird experiences like that? Because uh, I don't think, like, you wanna throw water, I mean, yeah, you, I guess you're right, it might make it go away, but it's like, then... It's like not your bus, like who cares, right? Like you throw water, then you gotta clean it up, so that's a problem. And what if you attract that that negative uh, energy uh, like towards you? I mean, you never know, right? And that is if that's true, I don't know. Week when the bus driver picks up a passenger and ends up freaking out, when he finds out that this passenger is possibly a ghost or something else entirely. Damn. And this is what happens, check this out. <laughs> Bro, I will fight you right now. Show me your goddamn fish. Okay, no, he's asking like, hey, madam, where do you want to go? Okay, so he he's asking why are you not showing your face? And she's saying, I mean, Burkha, I cannot show you my face. She says, I have no face. As you can see in the video, the woman appears to have no face at all. And when the bus driver wow. realizes that he's possibly dealing with something not of this world, he immediately asks his friend to call the police. Man, that is crazy though. But I mean, it could just be like, uh, her face might have been covered like fully with black, right? Like could be that, right? I know normally there's like a way for the eyes, uh, like the eyes are usually open, right? You can see through, but like she doesn't have that. And she says that I don't, she herself says that I don't have face. Like what the hell? Stop harassing women. I mean, nah, bro, it's not that, bro. Like, they just want, they, they're freaked out because the way she acting right now. And they want to know, where do you want to go? Yeah, what, what the police gonna do right now? Fire rounds. Mama always said that. Do not mess around with the things that bullets don't kill, son. Now, it is being said that when the police arrived, the woman was nowhere to be found. Now, Classic. if this is the real deal or not, whatever is going on here, this has got to be one of the creepiest things I've ever seen so far. Most internet users believe that the woman passenger a was a jinn. It's a jinn! It's a jinn! It's a jinn! Type of entity that is believed to exist in certain religions and cultures. Yeah. Okay, honestly, not making joke, I'm Muslim, so... Yeah, jinns, uh, 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 yeah, you, you know, I'm a believer, so it exists, right? It's in the religion, so, and, uh, not trying to make fun of it, but, like, holy crap, like, any of you had experience like that? ...has no face and uses a type of cloak. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> 
perfectamente, uno se ve patrullando muy bien ahí, ve, muy bien. Y ve, se, ve. se ve todo como se ve sombra invisible ahí, ve. Ve, lo ve, ahí se desapareció. Other internet users suggest that this is somehow linked to the mysterious freakouts happening in airplanes recently. Now if this is the case, I'm not too sure. But I'm gonna leave it up to you. Is this bus haunted? And is this possibly a gen? Uh, what do you guys make of this one? The last one that, you know, where a guy was seeing, like, somebody sitting in his camera, in his security camera, but the person was not, like, physically there. That one, I'm willing, I'm more inclined to believe. But this one, I don't know about this one, guys. I don't know. It's a hoax, borrow an AK-40. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, I cannot do that, man.